If you don't know who Molly Golightly is, she's a failed reality TV star that decided YouTube is going to be where I shine. And I'm not just going to go in there and be entertaining. Nah, I'm going to take all these children cases, right? all these true crime cases that have a lot of emotional attachment to it, and I'm going to exploit the heck out of it. I'm going to go in. I'm going to treat it like it's a game. I'm going to treat it like it's a game. I'm not going to be respectful in any way, shape, or form, fam. This is what Molly Golightly came out here and did. Nasty. Straight nasty, fam. So I wanted to compile all of these clips and, you know, some footage of some nasty things Molly has, has done. Wanted to speak on it. And, you know, just document it. Do one last hurrah for Molly Golightly because apparently she, she gone. She got terminated. Yeah. Yeah, so let's, let's look into this, fam, and I'll give my full opinion and be honest. Share the heck out of this video, man. Post as many comments as you can. Let's, let's pay homage to, to this crazy person that <laughs> was just out here bugging, fam. Now she got a bunch of people imitating her nastiness. Going to carry the torch for her. Let, let's get straight into this. Just a little Diane. bit. Diane. You bitches better fucking chat the fucking super chat out of me. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. She like, yo, y'all better, y'all better super chat me right now. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a different approach right there. Um, okay. I'm so desperate. I just came out of, you better bitches better fucking chat Shimer. Super chat me the better fuck. Better chat Shimer. You say, y'all, y'all better chat Shimer. You, you bitches better chat Shimer. What? You ain't her? You better shashima. What's Y'all up? Y'all asses better super chat me. Become members or I ain't saying fucking shit. Cause this shit. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> How much you want to bet? Yo, I, I didn't watch this whole thing. How much you want to bet people start super chatting? How much you want to bet? That's, that's a crazy approach, bro. I just sit here and listen to her use this bathroom. I know that. No, 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 no. Is that? Please tell me that's like from the sink. That bitch. You can hit. Yo, I hear. I hear water, bro. I don't know if it's coming from bathroom use or from the sink. I hear water. Molly nasty. My, you know what? I know it's early as hell. Let me actually play this nasty song. No, I don't care. She deserves it. And I haven't played it in months. So I might as well, I might as well throw this nasty joke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you nasty fam. You nasty. You nasty fam. You nasty. You nasty fam. You nasty. You nasty fam. Yeah. You know you name you. Nasty. Straight nasty. You can hear you using the bathroom. That bitch. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not no sink. She wouldn't go in the bathroom and just use it. Oh man, this is too much. I wouldn't even know what to put in a title for this, man. <laughs> when I clip this and when I will. Um, I wouldn't even know what to put in the title. Uh, demanding money, demanding donations, uh, peeing. Y'all motherfuckers better super chat me. That than the BBC. Fuck. And then she, and then she demands super chats as she's on the toilet, and we can hear her on the toilet. This is crazy. I might have to speed this up because I don't want to. I don't want so to have to hear this. I've never been matter in my whole life. Oh you don't, shit! Should have been mad. You don't sound mad, Molly. You sound excited. So excited that you couldn't even just wait to use the bathroom before you turned on the live stream. I'm about to ball out. Oh. You, it, yo, I swear, if I don't hear that sink, my man. If she come back out here and start talking into, hold on, no, no, let me, I need to make myself bigger on the screen. If she come back out here and she starts talking to the camera 
before she wash her hands, bro. I promise you this video about to be over. <laughs> Yo, I swear. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to take it, bro. I can't. No. Yo, no, no. Wash your hands. Oh, shit. Bro. And this motherfucking post. Oh, shit. Even Mallory is just going to fall out. Oh, shit. I think she drunk out her damn mind right now. I think she drunk out her mind. The fuck is better fucking deep. I'm fucking full out. It's worth five thousand. What? Oh my god! I'm so. Did she say it's worth five thousand? Full out. It's worth five thousand. She said it's worth five thousand. Oh my god! I'm so pissed. She she not even hiding this. This is crazy. She's not even hiding what she's doing. Yo, bro, that's crazy. Shay telling you, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with the grift. Man, you better donate to me. Uh, she a hundred. So okay, so ooh, it's clarified. The entire time, it wasn't a sink. We was listening to her. We was listening to her do the number one. We know why she deleted this, bro. We know what's up. <laughs> oh, hell, what that shit? Oh, hell no, this ain't. <laughs> I don't even know which. Wait, did she wash her hands? Hell. Okay, all right, I heard some. All right, I heard hand washing, but damn it, did you think we couldn't hear you using the bathroom, Molly? Did you think we wasn't gonna be able to hear that? Oh, hell! What yeah, she nasty as hell. Oh, hell no! This ain't this shit ain't getting away. Oh no 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 no! This shit ain't getting away with a motherfucker. Molly, sit your ass down, bro. What's wrong with you? Man, I couldn't even be around someone like Molly. Like, yo, you do too much. Sit down. I don't like that much movement going on around me. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead serious. I really don't. It makes me feel uncomfortable. That's crazy. It'll be worth your fucking money. Oh, whatever Aunt Molly goes like this says, become a member. Well, give me some stitch Number eight. We just need number seven, baby. This is crazy. She's really doing a countdown. Wow. Well, you've always known it was all about the money, guys. So. Found that out when I interviewed her and she blatantly said it. So trust me. Remember why I promised you some BBC? Hey, Once yeah. week number seven, baby. Oh. So I use channel. That motherfucker Michelle. If you want to be yeah. <laughs> if you want to be number seven, start a YouTube channel. So they will never get a job number one. That's not because of me. What's up? You know. Who wants to be number seven? <laughs> Give going. You ain't gonna believe this fucking shit that happened. I bet you she don't even say nothing. I've been predicting everything correct so far. I guarantee she ain't gonna say nothing. She ain't, she just pump faking. She ain't gonna say a damn thing. That's me, number seven. You are not gonna believe this. Did they mute her? Am I tripping? Believe this. Yeah. Who wants to be five? You sure? You Oh, so she didn't say nothing. Okay, I thought she was talking and actually saying something like she spelled the bean. No. Even in this moment, she's still waiting for more donations. Molly Golightly injects herself into these cases, these true crime cases that more specifically involve children. And she'll exploit it and milk it and drain it and just build her following and be extremely nasty about it. And I don't mean just giving her opinion. Nah, she goes beyond that. She tries to inject herself into the story. One example is Summer Wells. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the Hawkins County Sheriff, Ronnie Lawson, have stressed the negative impact of online rumors and misinformation on the search investigation. But four social media sleuths, as they see themselves with big followings, have come to our region in hopes of uncovering some clues that investigators may have missed. I mean, it's been six months. Six months. Six months. And I don't want this girl to be a cold case. Oh, yes. You're not mistaken. That is Molly Golightly. 
right in the center as if she's Captain America to the Avengers. Let me tell you something straight up, fam. And I know there might be a few Molly Go Lightly supporters watching, but I want to be honest with you. That that's that's not really a good leader to have. I I don't think so. I think she's extremely irrational. I think she does a lot of crazy things. She's admitted all of this in our interview. You could check that out on my Garfield Speaks channel. Yeah, that's that's not really the right move. So they are here. Four social media sleuths from around the country traveling here to Hawkins County to keep up awareness. Summer Wells is still missing. Pressure breaks pipes. They are social media influencers and investigators. Their goal is to make noise and get noticed. They say it brings attention to victims, but criticism to their town. This child being missing oh no that's not funny at all molly go lightly walking around the room pacing just just yelling at people randomly just as if she's saying something that you should listen to yeah that's hilarious to me i don't care nobody's gonna say cancel me cancel me fam. i'm not laughing at the case why y'all listen to molly this is crazy what olivia vital has 1.2 million followers on tiktok it means that we can reach a large audience and bring exposure and spotlight to these cases it really is about spotlight and bringing awareness and with my account i'm able to do that they met while each individually covered the gabby petito murder investigation that gained national attention and the four of us came together as a group and put all of our talents and all our resources together and we became a team and we decided to look at that look at that right there proof right before your eyes mainstream media don't know what the hell they talking about not not whatsoever so yeah yeah, some some lady going out there and yelling in front of these people with houses and harassing them. Yeah, that that's what we supposed to do out here in these streets. They just be pulling whatever just to get a story. I swear, just like these YouTubers. <gasps> That's why they got along so great. A finger touch to their phone starts their sometimes nightly conversations with their hungry for answers audience. Our mission support them. The footage will speak for itself. So that's a super chat right there. Someone just donated ten dollars. Thanks. That ten dollars, little by little, adds up to pay for the means to work. That is not helping. Which is what they say this is. We're down in Florida. We're over in Utah. We're in Wyoming. We're now in Tennessee. This stuff costs real money and you know this is a full-time job and the only way we could afford to do something like this is by providing a service to the viewers providing information information they're getting no place out i agree to some degree yes fam if you are doing the research and provide information that is a service, fam. And even if you're doing it from the kindness of your heart, like deep down in your soul, I do believe you still should be compensated so you can continue doing this. That's not what Molly Go Lightly doing. I don't know about the rest of them. I don't know about TikTok. I don't know about TikTok, but I know Molly Go Lightly just yelling at people and doing a whole bunch of nastiness out here in these streets, like just blatantly, fam. And as far as TikTok, I might not know her, but I do know you should not be getting your information from TikTok. That that's never a good idea. Those viewers trust what they pay for, and the reward for them is hope that Summer's case will be solved. It gives me purpose, and um. I just feel like it's my duty to help bring justice to people that don't have a voice anymore. The four say they gave local law enforcement a heads up before they came to town. They were granted an audience with investigators. This morning, I contacted Sheriff Ronnie Lawson and asked for an interview, but was denied. It seems like this news station was just giving shout outs to whoever actually replied to the interview, fam. And when it comes to mainstream media, I've turned down a plethora of mainstream media sources and companies to ask me for stuff. I was just like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Some of them still actually took and quoted some of my stuff, but uh, I just don't really feel too comfortable trusting mainstream media when it comes to stuff. So that's why I do get getting your information from certain sources that can be on YouTube. I understand that. 
but you got to still vet that. You know what I mean? You got to be real careful. You got a lot of people that's out here emotionally manipulating people and, and taking advantage of you feeling empathy and sympathy for some of these cases. So you got to try to be careful. At least that's what I believe. Do whatever the hell you want. Dad, I'm not your dad. Dad, I'm not your dad. Can I keep it real with y'all for a second? I got to keep it real, fam. I'm sick of seeing these channels exploiting the Summer Wells case over and over and over, fam. I'm seeing people that have been doing multiple videos daily since it was announced that this girl was missing, fam. Ain't no new information. There's none. A lot of people keep asking me too, like, yo, BX, what's the update? There is no update. If I was to do continuous videos about this, I would be making things up. And guess what? I don't roll like that. I don't think that's the right thing to do. But guess what? These channels do. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. You got people like Molly Go Lightly and so on and so on. I'm, I'm not going to keep on mentioning them. But I just think it's a foul, fam. Like, yes, covering true crime, I get it. Covering missing children, nothing wrong with that. Being paid for your services of doing research and just discussing things. Yeah, I have no problem with that as well. But fam, when you're blatantly making up things, you're doing conspiracy theories, it's, it's a whole bunch of nastiness, fam. And you know it's bad when, when Dr. Phil gets his hands on it. Dr. Phil doing interviews? Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's damn they Catch me outside. How about that? That that's when we should be taking this serious. No, fam. And that's the sad thing. This is a, there's a girl missing. There's a little girl missing, fam. Instead of like trying to help authorities by not spreading misinformation, like the authorities asked us not to do in a plethora of videos and press conferences. Yo, don't spread no misinformation, please. There's a lot of YouTubers doing so. What do they do? They spread it. Why? Because they know a bunch of people are uh, connecting themselves to the story, fam. They feel empathy and sympathy for Summer Wells, fam. Some might even feel it for the family. Some might not. Some might not, fam. I ain't going to front. I, I've seen and heard audio and the father and the nastiness within the family that, yeah, there's a lot that, that don't sit well with me 100%. And when I did look at the video, I ain't no cop or detective, but I can tell that those were not, that, that wasn't a good environment, fam. And it ain't about being poor, because guess what? I, I grew up poor. I wasn't living like that, fam. That just was not a safe environment for a kid, fam. And, and it sucks to, to see things like that. But more importantly, fam, this girl is missing. And I don't like people exploiting the hell out of it, fam. Doing deep dives every day. Impossible. Impo How the hell would you even be able to do that, fam? And if these people think it's appropriate because they have supporters now that are backing them full fledged because they think that they're doing the right thing. That's not what they're doing, fam. They're not no guardian angel. No. Hypothetically, even the devil was an angel. Think about it. Think about that. Oh, I just got y'all some realness. Y'all wasn't ready for that hot fire. Ooh, cool down now. Simmer down. Go ahead. Think about it. I'll let that, let that sizzle in your spirit for a second. Yeah, and then you back now, you with me? Yeah, this is foul, fam. It's not right. It's not right. And the moment that if we find some information, if someone else is found, what they gonna do? They gonna find another case, they gonna latch on to it, and they gonna keep exploiting that. They don't actually care about these children, guys. Newsflash, they don't care. They don't, fam. I, I hate to break it to you. I know a lot of people that's watching from the silence. They do care. These people don't, fam. It's so blatant. It's in your face, fam. But you're, you're blinded by your emotions. And I understand it. I just, I, I refuse to do it. You know what I mean? That's why I haven't covered that much of Summer Wells. I've done my, my information on uh, giving updates, things that the news have reported on, stuff like that, press conferences. Um, any new information, but there's no new information. Not at this point. Not hell no. Not at this point, fam. Um, I, I hope that we don't hear the worst, fam. Whenever we do get an actual update, um, but that's just Lord willing. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs>
there's a lot of nasty communities out here in YouTube, fam. I've seen beef between all different types of, I guess you call them tribes. That, that's a weird ass thing to call it. Whatever, I digress. I've seen beef and drama within the coffee community or the YouTube guru community, fam. But within the true crime community, I think is where it gets extremely nasty and toxic. You got a whole bunch of content creators out here doing a lot of nasty things, right? And then to cover themselves, to put a little shield up, they cover these true crime cases that involve children, right? They get people to to think of them as heroes, like, oh, they're this, this do-gooder. And they're really not that at all, man. They, they be using these cases as an excuse to just get drama out there, get publicity, get views, and then get that coin, sis. Yes. I think I said it right this time. Uh, I was watching a lot of, a lot of movies about it. Anyway, I'm just like really sick of seeing it. And I'm not telling anybody what to do or how to do their content. But when you have different content creators going out and meeting up in person to go fight really close to where certain crimes have been committed that they are reporting on, I, I think that that's way too far, fam. <laughs> God damn it. I thought, holy shit. <laughs> Why your hand shaking, bro? You scared? Oh, look, oh, shook. <laughs> this is, hey, bro. You're instructed to roll, man. This is against the law. You got to move the fuck around. Look at them all quiet. <laughs> sure about that? Bring your motherfucking ass out here to one toe. One toe. Why are your hands shaking like that, bro? Get a good, get a good look. See? You sue me? Why are your hands shaking? You are shook. Look at your hand. I ain't got to worry about you. Are you going to worry about me? Don't do it. Step one foot up. No. Come. One of the cases that everyone keeps talking about, or I should say that milking, milking the hell out of this, you got creators doing like 30 videos a day, bro. 30 videos a day. Yo, ain't no new information on this. Summer Wells, fam, a missing child. She's been missing for a while now. Even her parents have been on Dr. Phil. It's become really, really big and talked about. There has been no new information, but there's a lot of people that are concerned. They've grown some kind of emotional attachment to the story. So now you got a lot of these content creators really just draining this topic. And it's just, um, I don't even want to address it as a topic, right? Because this is a, a child that is missing. We don't know what happened. But in pertaining to what I'm talking about, in particular, yes, draining this topic in order to give views and, uh, and money and clout, fam. Guess what? A content creator came out to admit it, fam. First, they try to deny it. What? I, I, I only put it on the candle just to show homage or respect. I wasn't trying to make no money. And then once they got pressured, it was, well, what do you expect me to do? I got to feed my kids. Yeah, let's play that clip. It's not your fucking kid. Well, that's why it wasn't sold. But people it's, are yeah, still right. bringing up. Yeah, right. You should have never even made the motherfucker. You should have not been a low skis bucket like you are, Laura, that you always okay. trying to find a way to make a fucking okay. dog. Okay. You should have never put that young and up there, you dog boy. I have a fucking family. You're disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. Tell me. Wow. Wow. Homegirl said, I got a family to feed. Sue me. A few seconds after she tried to state that she wasn't doing this for money and that not a single candle was sold. 
that that don't make no sense. That don't make no damn sense, fam. I know a lot of people won't say this because they're blinded by emotion, but this is nasty. That's nasty, fam. And I've been saying this for months. They all be thinking like this. You had another content creator say that that summer was a cash cow. What? Come on, fam. I am a monetized channel. It's none of your business if someone decides to become a member. It's none of your business if I have a Patreon. Cash Gurnan's family support us. And she thinks that we're like making tons of money off of things, but, but, but off these videos, which we're not. He was not a moneymaker. The one that's the moneymaker is Summer Wells. For some reason, if you talk about Summer Wells and you keep going, you're making bank. It's a gold mine. It's an absolute gold mine. I think this is foul. And I'll never respect content creators that, that do stuff like this. There are plenty of true crime creators that don't do stuff like this, though. I don't want to say that all true crime people are nasty, fam. There's just a lot of nastiness within that little, I guess, sphere. Did I say that word right? I'm high. Within that little place on YouTube. But don't worry. I'll call out the nasty whenever I see it. Not trying to like super judge people or tell them what to do or cancel anybody. But when you out here exploiting these children the way that they're doing, I, I definitely got to say something. That's me. Now we have footage of someone, Molly Go Lightly, to be exact, coming out here and giving lessons on how to exploit these children and how to make her money. We're going to take a look at this, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, man, because we, we need this to get out here. We got we got to expose this type of stuff, fam. It happens so often with on YouTube, and not that many people want to talk about it, fam. It's it's a lot of nastiness. Hit the like button and drop a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Let's look at it. YouTube is very simple, but then but, but in the beginning, it's very shower. I'm trying not to ever put in your tags blood, gore, true crime. Don't ever. Uh, really? That's what's going to fry you. Also, don't put eggs on right away. Wait until it's completely green. Molly did used to be a, a life coach. It, it makes sense that she out here just coaching the worst. Telling you how to do it nasty style. Like, this is what you want to do. You, you want to come out here and you don't post it until it's green. You got to make sure it's green because that's what matters most. The money. That's what I care about. Yo, it's crazy. And I'll go just listening like, okay, okay, this is what we're doing. Mind you, if you don't know that much about Molly, they're out there trying to be true detectives. Not knowing nothing, messing up things. Authorities have spoken on multiple occasions, telling them to stop. They keep going. And now we're seeing, I've been saying this the whole time, but now we're seeing clear proof and evidence that Molly Golightly and a bunch of other people are just there for the coin with a nasty ass. Even if you have to put it on private, it will go green and then you put your ads on. That's a secret. That's how I make the difference between 2000 and What the hell? I, I showed you. Ma'am, you all can make that. That's 12K. 12K to just... Sit there and exploit these children, pretend that you care, try to create some kind of false hope so people can think that you're some some sort of hero. Go and get media attention. Just keep on being nasty after nasty. You call Summer Wells a cash cow? You said that? And now you're out here teaching classes on how to be disgusting and a bunch of people listening to you? This sounds like a pyramid scheme introduction. Just, what? Yeah, I, I showed you. Look at my car outside. You could be just like me. Yeah. It, this is, it's a foul, bro. This is crazy foul. You just gotta listen. You gotta listen. Okay. <laughs> just remember, every five minutes, put it in. Okay. But do it after they give you that green light. Why does it matter after the green? Oh, I have a bunch of yellows on mine. Oh my god, you're alive! I thought you knew we were alive! Oh, run away! Oh my god. <laughs> they all are... I thought you knew we were alive! I guess now I feel like everybody else does when I fucking... <laughs> let me ask you a question, guys. Please, let me know in the comment section as well. 
if someone didn't care about the money and it wasn't just all about money, why would you withhold the content that's supposed to be educating your, your following on what's the new updates with all these children in cases like Summer Wells, Cash Gurning, etc. This is all she do now. If that's supposed to be like the whole point of your content, why do you withhold it until it goes green and you can make it? your whole bunch of money off of it. Difference between 2000 and 12000 What was funny to me in this clip too as well is the fact that the person that's with her, she said, oh, at 2000 Before she even, before Molly said twelve. That This is crazy, bro. This is going on right in front of our faces and her followers don't care. They, they don't give a damn, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, I even said how much I make. Oh my god. I think everyone already knew that. I'm sorry, everyone. Everyone. But guess already what? Knows I that. give a lot of money to charity. And you wanna know something? I told my mom I would pay off her roof. She has a ten thousand dollar roof repair and she only owes four thousand. I said I'd pay for it. She's my mother. She's seventy five yeah, so years old. What am I supposed to do? Yo, fam. <laughs> The fact that she goes straight to virtue signaling after she gets caught is crazy, bro. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Just, oh, I got to buy my mama a, a roof. I got to go you know, do that. And, and I give the charities, though. <laughs> Uh, and then she just could just mosey on as if nothing happened and she didn't get exposed. <laughs> Watch it. Oh no. Oh no. This is funny. Oh man, I'm not editing that out either. That, oh man, I'm over here. Tears might be coming out of my eyes. <laughs> Oh, this is foul. Oh, yeah, she's nasty, bro. She is nasty as hell for that. I don't respect her family, but she ain't the only one, as you can see. She's giving her class, bro. This happens a lot. A lot. This is what goes on behind the scenes with these nasty ass content creators, man. I think that she was already exploiting one girl by the name of Summer Wells. Now she's over there going to Summer Wells in, in family church to record other children. And this is appropriate. Why, guys? Why? How, what did this do to, to like solve any kind of case? What, what, how did this find any missing children? Anybody want to tell me? Let me play a quick little clip. Now, I'm going to play a few clips today. But let me play a quick little clip briefly without showing the little girl of their little trip uh, of going to this church. No video. No video. Oh, photography. Nasty. Nasty. These women are foul, fam. What is wrong with them? Why would you think that's okay? Why, why is that uh, appropriate to you? You're just like, oh. I'm going to just be out here filming children and whatnot. They, by the way, it's illegal. I did check. I did check uh, as well as where I got these clips from. They checked as well. The, the channel I took this from. Uh, <laughs> to get this clip. <laughs> Yo, Molly snatched it down so quick. It was almost impossible for me to get that clip. But yeah, fam, this is disgusting. And what does shoehorn Freddy? Shoe Seti? Betty, whatever her name is, what, what does Molly Golightly's new goon on the side, what does she have to say about it? When people brought this up to her attention, why are you recording children? Oh, let's, let's hear what this nasty ass person had to say. Oh well. Cry River build a bridge. Cry River build a bridge. Oh well. We don't care about your your feelings. We don't care. Don't care. We do what we want to do. We do what we want to do. Oh, well. I'll get over it. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so offended. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Lane? This is a whole different type of nasty. This is chubacabra nasty, fam. This is human centipede type of nasty. This is Molly Golightly edges type of nasty. Why is this appropriate? Why is this okay? Why is everyone fine with this? Why is her supporters continuously donating to provide these gadgets for her to intrude on people's life? That church clearly had a sign saying no recording on this premises. And she uses her spy pen to do that. And not only that, to record children and post it. And then once you get the backlash, you take it down, you nasty mother effer. Yo, you guys keep praising these people like they're heroes, fam. And they're just going to keep on showing you over and over again how nasty they are, fam. Mm -hmm. Clear your throat. Lubricate. Mm -hmm. Now read that bitch. So Molly been out here harassing the family of Summer Wells, fam. Nasty. Super nasty, fam. She even got the father fired. We're going to take a look at a news clip. If I'm not mistaken, there might be another one after that. Whatever, whatever. I digress. We'll, we'll see what happens when, when we look at it. But fam, we're going to take a look at this and I'm going to give you guys my, my honest opinion. It's, it's real sick what Molly and her friends are doing. What's the other one named? Shoehorn Seti? Whatever. Whatever. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Let's get straight into this. This is so sick that they, they really trying to turn this into a circus. Our top story tonight, the father of missing five-year-old Summer Wells says he has filed charges against protesters who he says have been harassing him and his wife, both at their home. Okay, so now when I was reacting to, to Molly Golightly going crazy on him the other day, fam, I did say that. That was one of the first things I said was, yo, I, I hope that they, they would press charges, fam, the way that they're harassing them. It would seem really odd if they didn't press charges. That that would be the right thing. And it seems like they're trying to take the, the right approach to this. And at work, Don Wells sat down with Bianca Murray at our Kingsport Bureau. She's live there now to tell us what he said. Bianca? Yes, Sarah, Don Wells did file a police report today. The police confirmed here in Kingsport. Okay. Uh, all right. It seems like some kind of progress can be made when it comes to getting Molly out they face. <laughs> the hell is wrong with that woman, fam? Yeah, right on. And I'm not even uh, trying to cancel somebody. Get Yo, in this case, fam, this ain't cancel coach. That is blatant defending yourself from a crazy mad woman who said, I am going to follow you everywhere you go. Yeah, yeah. Go, go talk to the police immediately. Following an altercation with protesters showing up to his place protesters. of work. He says he and his wife have since lost that work at the construction site. And mind you, people were saying, oh, he didn't get fired. There you go. <laughs> right there. That confirms it. Yeah, Molly got him fired. Following the incident. Several protesters yelled at the parents of Summer Wells as they worked on a home in the- It's insane, fam. They really- Yo, they out here getting exactly what they want, though. Molly blatantly did all of this just so she could be on the news right now. Edinburgh Park Community of Kingston. I think that's why they're calling them protesters. Very, I mean, Candace was in tears and she was shaking and all that. He's scared. The this is crazy. People can just troll in real life like this. You should not be doing this. You you actually can't do that. I, I should rephrase that because he's he's pressing charges, as you can see. So no, you you can't do that. But people actually try it though. It's crazy. Vanities at the parents and loudly claiming the parents had something to do with Summer's disappearance. Uh, let the police do their job. I mean, I feel that they're just making a mockery out of everything for their YouTube channel and personal gain. Yes. I don't think they really. Yes. That is a fact. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's what Molly is doing. A hundred percent. Yeah, without a doubt. They, they pretend that they're, they're all about summer and they mm -hmm. care about summer, but I, they don't. I think otherwise. No, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, uh, but yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Like if they cared about some, how does this help? How does this help, fam? 
they would literally help more by getting their whole crew and just walking around the city, just looking for stuff, hanging up flyers. That, but maybe I'm old school. That's how I thought you you would find a missing child back in there. You put up flyers, get the word out, things of that nature. The, nothing that she's doing is actually s- supposed to help or going to help. But Wells says today was not the first time he's seen the protesters. From his front porch this weekend, several hundred feet from the road, he could hear protesters screaming over bullhorns. Crazy. Guarantee those people are probably connected to Molly. Somebody probably going to write in the comment section or in the live chat. Yep, that's so-and-so. They connected. Because people have been trying to get me to look into some of her buddies. You know, the you know the you know, they come into our house probably six times in total and just making a mockery out of everything. Are you afraid for your life? Well, I mean, there at first it was very scary. It could be bad. It could be dangerous. It has been. So you're not afraid now? Is that what you're but uh, we just want to get back to normal. And- well, says the protest is present. That's something um, that's kind of, I, I, I got to call a spade a spade and be unbiased. Back to normal. Some of it has only been gone for what, like six months, I think. I don't, I don't think you can get back to normal. I don't know if he has his kids either in this current moment of time. So I don't. Back to normal. I don't think it's ever going to be back to normal. Um, but I do 100% disagree with what the hell Molly's doing. But that statement is a little bit off to me. A little bit off. Got to keep it real. This has been taxing. I remember my stomach being in a knot. Just like, oh, and they show Molly flopping on cars. Look at this. Well, says the protest is. Pre- Get off the car, man. Damn. Well, with her side kick in the background, hold his side. Yo, this is crazy. You ever watch like the Conan O'Brien show? That's one of my favorite shows. Now he got like the the side mic on the side. That's <laughs> hold his side. You know, how, like like uh, Howard Stern had the the black lady with the dreads on the side. And I keep naming a bunch of things just like that. Remember, you ever watch Keenan and Cal? Now Cal was running around, you know, in attention, and Keenan was on the side. Look at that glow up, though. Look at that glow up. If you know, you know. Presence has been taxing. I remember my stomach being in a knot just constantly, not being able to sleep. And if I did sleep, when I woke up, the first, as soon as I wake up, first thing in my mind is summer, worse summer, and just begging God. Is he saying that that's not on his mind? This, I see. This is so someone did him wrong. And now just hearing this man talk. And mind you, I said this when I first uh, covered the Summer Wells thing. I, I do think that he puts his foot in his mouth and says a lot of outrageous things and a lot of craziness. Um, he, I don't think this is the person that should be talking. Uh, in fact, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about this, and I know a lot of people are going to hate me, just because I wanted to be clear, I'm unbiased. So I got to look at this from an open um, perspective. Why the hell is he doing a, a, a news interview? I just, yo, I didn't even think about that. Wait a second. Why the hell are you doing a news interview? If you already went to the police and you filed a report, why, why do this? In fact, you said that you're aware that Molly Golightly is looking for the attention. Why, why put on the slip back, the slip back hairdo and get your ass on camera? I don't really agree with neither side of this right now. Awesome. Molly or him. No. Why? Yeah. Why do they keep making an effort to be seen by media? I wouldn't want to talk to nobody if my child was missing, fam. First of all, I'm going to turn into the Punisher and just be running around barking, looking for my child. You ever seen Punisher on Netflix? Anyway, I digress. I digress. Um, But I definitely would not be wanting cameras in my face. And of course, the the media, they're going to interview him because they want them views. But he has the option to not do this. Is he trying to get a new job? Like, is he like, is that what it is? Is this like marketing for new work? That does seem kind of odd, man. Like him and Molly both 
Uh, I can't agree with them at all for what neither one of them are doing. No, it's my daddy, my little girl. He was always with me. Wells keeps in contact with investigators, not... And he opened in the door now. People are going to say, why did you use past tense? You said was, as if you already knew that she passed away. How do you know that? Those are the questions that people are um, going to ask. So, yeah, he's opening doors to be harassed. Not saying he deserved to be harassed, but you're opening the door. Why do you keep doing interviews, dude? You said you want to move on, right? Stop doing interviews. You wanted to move on? Stop going on, Dr. Phil. That that can't help you moving on at all, fam, in my personal opinion. Giving up hope. I even hear from people time to time where TVI just contacted them because their cell phone happened to ping in the area. So I know that they're still working and they're still looking into things. Okay, so you should let them handle that. You should let them handle that and stay out of media or off media. We reached out to some of the protesters present at today's demonstration and have not heard back yet. We also reached out. Oh, that's odd. That's great. Molly did not want to put out a statement. <laughs> now that she got that, that, uh, that charge. Uh... To the Kingsport police to find out when we could get our hands on that report that Don Wells filed. They said first thing in the morning. Damn, yo, yo, people will be ruthless. Damn, mainstream media ain't playing. They even got their email address at the bottom of the screen. Send me information, please. Uh, let's see if this what next the video, oh, uh, look, I add immediately. We gonna mute that. We gonna get this damn thing off the screen. I'm gonna talk to you guys. In fact, I should play an ad. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just uh, get the ad uh, ran through in silence. As I'm talking, yeah, fam. I don't think that, he, that being on uh, mainstream media or media in general is anything conducive. And she goes, I go, oh my God, what's the matter? Dad, okay. That's a hell of a way to start it. Shout outs to This Is Tragic T. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to credit whoever I'm watching a clip from. And uh, she goes, Marissa. And I go, what's the matter? What's the matter? She goes, nothing. She goes, um, I just want to let you know that Ann got here. And I said, okay, what happened? And she's like, everything's good. So there's a woman. Um, Man, I hope I don't get a strike for her. But a music blasting crazy in the background. Dang. What's going on with her, man? What's going on? She in a, a type of mood. The camera zoomed in. <laughs> These fake tears. Wait, wait. Is she crying? She not crying. She fake crying up in this piece. That we knew growing up and she had a uh, small cell breast cancer and she ended up healing herself with what? stuff. Pardon me for being ignorant. And she called yesterday and then last night she said after work I'm gonna come and visit. Now what's she talking about? What she what kind of what kind of stuff? Kinda what kind of I don't you know what? Let's not even get into it. She's trying to give me 86. I'm saying that's why she be taking her streams down and member only and she be saying some wildness. Trying to get me 86. I'm Today not with it. Today was a big day. They ended up. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the. Thank you so much. I I I, I feel. Um, let me say hi to you. Thank you. Uh, let me say hi. That said, I think Chris Watts was the star to to Molly. That's what's being said in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure. I know she did speak on that, and she did say some disgusting things. Check out my previous videos on her. Uh, check out other Chroma Watch episodes. But I think I did go and review it. Maybe I need to do a refresh. But I remember her doing a nasty joke about candy bars and... I don't know. There's a whole lot of nasty. I do remember her speaking on the Chris Watts thing. I thought it was... Uh, who's the other one? Critical K. Who actually was speaking on... On um, the Watts case in the most disgusting fashion. I think she really got more popularity from that. Jessica, prayers for your mom. I think it was Summer Wells. It might have blew Molly up a little more. Either that or maybe the Cash Donner. Am I pronouncing the name right? 
the cash. Remember the baby that, yeah, that was a lot of these crazy cases, man. I do think that that Smiley got most of her attention from, um, they didn't run into people's front lawns and begging for news cameras to pop up. I think that's, that's what's going down. Why are everybody acting like they afraid of Molly? I've been doing research for like the last few days trying to, you know, get back into the loop of all the, the crama stuff. Pretty much what I started. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think trying to get back into the loop, see everybody else's stuff on it and see what they're saying. I'm seeing a lot of people. Well, two things I'm seeing. A lot of people are not coherent. They, they're not able to form a like a full sentence. I don't even think they'll be able to debate. Right. I, I haven't seen any new people within the crime field that have like any kind of debate skills. I've seen Molly come on the streams and demolish people and bully people. Another thing I've seen is like a lot of people be afraid. Like they, why y'all like y'all scared of Molly? Yo, man, this thing, Drago ain't doing nothing. Drago from Rocky, y'all think Drago ain't doing nothing, fam. Um, I say thank you so much. Hey, Brian. Um, it's a big day because my mom. I'm gonna if I if I say it, I'm gonna fucking start crying again. Bam. My sister Molly does look like she got the mean left hook. I ain't gonna like. Don't take me roasting Molly as me saying I want to smoke. I do not feel <laughs> like if it's all some like just words, words, absolutely. But I seen Molly run up on a dude and I was like, oh man, I'm comedian, don't beat me up. For real, I'm calling the cops. I'll be out. You going to get your third strike messing with me, Molly. I'm calling the cops, boo boo. You going to jail now. Don't, don't run up on me. Please. And then she said some different names came to visit mommy. And then some other names came to visit mommy. And I just burst into fucking Molly, tears. Like she the reason I Tyson. burst into tears is because um, I thought about it. And, I, and these people were driving hours and in traffic on a weekday to come and visit my mom. And we're talking like six people. Soulless, and I thought yeah, about it. And I said, soulless. look at how much fucking love and friendship my mother had. What the hell is she doing, man? What is the point of this? I might have to speed this up, but I know you guys might not be able to, to even hear it. I can't I can barely understand Molly now. You get what I'm saying? And also, this is fair use, Molly. I know how you get down sometimes. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. I'm not even afraid of Molly getting my information. A lot of times, like, she'll strike somebody and they be scared to, like, fight it because Molly got my information. Her whole crew docks me like <laughs> a gazillion fulfilling terms. Like, her, her and the crew, they were sharing my docks around like it was hotcakes. They was passing that out. It was bad. They was passing it around like it was. My bad. My bad. That's, that was an edgy joke. That was an edgy joke. But it's true. Her and her friends were doxing me back and forth, if I'm not mistaken. She might not have. Did the toxin, but she was in the group chat when the docs was passed around and they were doing research. I think she, no, 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 she was involved because I think she helped do the research, right? That's what I was told, if I'm not mistaken. And I think she even admitted to some of this directly to me. Check out the interview I did with her. You guys know what I mean? You can't, you can't get in no way other than Krama Watch and try and tell them. Try and tell them, man. Y'all about to make me re-upload that interview. My mother... She she let a lot of things be out. So many long lasting friendships. Thank you so. Oh, Roxy, hello. Oh, how are you? Thank I think you. I will Just so you know, her. listen, I am aware. I am very much aware the of like button, guys. the people that are supportive and being lovely and supportive to me right now. And I, I listen. Hey, Mo I, Molly. Look, let me read Laura's comment. Molly knows I'm going live in 30 minutes, so she will shut down. Wait, huh? Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, perplex? Didn't I smoke her boots in a debate too? Man, I, I got like a whole trophy room full of people within this crime community. They cool? That sounded like a shot. They cool? That sound like they beef it now. They cool? I will. What are you going live about? Can y'all smell that coming from what? She's going live about you. Marissa, her memory will always be. 
Joe and Lob about you. All right, listen, I'm just going to say something. Everybody wants to fucking be stupid and shit like that. I stand by what I said. I stand by my comment. I stand by what I said. That she, she talking about the, okay. It's gone. All right. She's horrible for this. So her mom's not gone. So Molly Golati comes on live stream, tells you, my mom's gone. <laughs> She's gone. You know what I mean? She's gone. People probably feeling bad. They donating. They donating. Right? They, they, they feel horrible because they've gone through that. They've probably lost loved ones before. And Molly comes on there, knows damn well how her words can be perceived and, and straight lies about her mom passing when there's a chance that her mom can actually pass. That's foul. That's disgusting, actually. Like, that's the type of time you want, Molly? That, that's crazy. Like, I don't even believe that. And now when she's getting criticism in the chat, I'm assuming. Now when she's getting criticism in the chat, she comes out and she's on some, I still stand by. Molly, you going to double down on that? You going to double down? On, th on this? You standing on, you going to, you going to double down on that? Okay. You're wild. I'm not a doctor, but that seems insane. I don't think Molly has any limit of where she's willing to go. I think Molly does not have a limit at all of that. I think she's going to say and do whatever just to, to make a, a quick buck. And it's crazy because I've seen her say that about uh, somebody by the name of Dolly Vision. I don't know much about them. But if you guys want me to look more into them, I have no problem doing that. I'm bringing Crime Watch back. Why not? Right? Why not? But yeah, fam. Um, I think that's that's crazy. I think that that's insane that she would even say that to someone else, saying, "Yo, you just you just here for a quick buck, Molly? Do you you know you got clips?" Of you blatantly admitting that you're here just for the money. You told me directly during the interview that you in it for the money and the cloud and the clicks and the views. There's clips of you saying or telling, I forgot the, the name of that other creator, the, the young thing. The, you know, I've been calling her young thing for like two years. The, the young thing that was running around with them. The joint from TikTok. I don't even know if she got a YouTube, but I remember there was some young thing over there that was new to to like the YouTube sphere. And Molly was like, this is how you get your money. And then you do this and do this and you can earn this amount. And I'm sitting there like, yo, Molly's crazy. The stuff that she over here getting off is wild, boy. Like, what? What? That's how you feel? And then you live in a different type of lifestyle. Olivia, okay. That's crazy how I said that young thing. Y'all know. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I said, yo, the young thing. When they was like, oh, hey. clearly you talking about Olivia. Because ain't nothing else over there was under 50, my. <laughs> yo, Molly Go Lightly crew is triple OG or better. They They all... They all like OG status in the streets. They, they just, they out here because they was, they was in the streets. A bunch of working girls sometimes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah. So what I heard, my mom is gone. My mom is. I made my peace with her. That is my grieving. It is not your grieving. But she's not gone though, from what they're saying. It sounds like you're confirming this too. And the only reason why I'm even talking about this, you made it public. Why are you coming on here about your, your mom passing? I've, the only thing I've done on live streams or videos, it wasn't for empathy or sympathy because I spoke about it years after, um, was some relatives have passed. And I've definitely come out and maybe told a story, right? And then let people know that my relative passed, that I'm telling a story that, that is in the story. But I ain't, hey, I'm sad. 
feel bad for me. No. I have literally come on here and streamed and did videos four to five times a day through the worst situations, bro. The worst, right? Losing a whole bunch of people. I didn't come on here and even talk about it. I came on and just did whatever the subject was for the day or whatever topic my supporters wanted me to speak on, right? Like, so when you come out here and you're, you're doing this empathy and sympathy, I'm losing something and you, it's found to be not true. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. You jumped the shark, Molly. You jumped the shark. It's crazy. And you can criticize and you can say, oh yeah, you said that. Now you did not say my mother was dead. I never said that anyway. Thank you, Amber. Thank you so much. I never said that ever. You can say it till the cows come home. You can twist it in your fucking mind any way you want. I never said that. You said she was gone, which insinuates that she's gone. That's, that's what you, come on. Now she's playing stupid. How hard would it have been for her to say, sorry, guys, I, I understand that you could have misinterpreted what I said, and that's on me. I should have been more clear. My mom isn't gone. I feel like she's close to. Right? I feel like she's not there already, but she's not officially gone. So I should have clarified. Man, this sounds like I've said something on Twitter. Like, I think something as simple as like, yo, uh, I think I was like, I said I was and off of YouTube was suspended off of YouTube and it was just me trying to quickly let my supporters know that I'm going to be suspended right for a little while and then when I seen one comment saying oh snap they, they got you for permanently I had to jump on and go yo 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 it's just for two weeks my bad I wasn't even thinking when I made the post I was just trying to keep you guys informed I should have clarified even more so you guys wouldn't be confused to think that it was worse right um that's how an adult would handle a situation Molly just going double down. Double down, Molly. My sister knows I never said that. Everybody knows I did not say that. You can follow the leader or whatever, anywhere you want. This is my mother. Thank you very much. Yeah, she could have. Uh, I'm seeing you in the chat, guys in the chat saying, does she mean dementia? And she could have just misworded it. Absolutely. That could absolutely be a possibility. It could be anything and she just misworded it, right? If I'm not mistaken, then she brought up like cancer or something. I don't want to speculate and say what it is, but if anyone knows, clarify it in the chat or in the comment section if you can. But she's like, she also ish. Like, let's be let's be clear. Like she she's dead wrong for this, right? And why she's dead wrong is because it could have been just miswording, but now she's doubling down on it instead of saying, "Hey guys, I maybe I misspoke." Not my bad for that. I could have clarified a little bit more, especially if I'm going to talk about something this sensitive. But think about this. The same way she's talking about her mother, she talks about these children that are missing or any of these crimes that she covers. Think about all the things she gets wrong. Think about that. All the time she messes up and refuses to say, I messed up. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. And I'm not saying just because people are asking for it. No, no, no. I'm not with the cancer culture. I'm not with you apologizing just because you feel like you have to. No, I mean, like as in being an uh, actual virtuous human being and taking accountability. When you do say something that's wrong or that can be perceived a certain way, there's times when I say things and this is just in personal life. It could be perceived as if I'm not paying attention or I'm not actually taking what the person said into consideration. I've had that happen and I had to explain it and like let it be known and apologize. Like, yo, I'm sorry that that's what you received from that. That's not what I meant. And that's my mistake. I have to do better at letting people know that I do hear them. Right. And I don't want people to feel, especially if I care about you, like I'm not considering what you what you have to say. Right. So like, I think that that's just part of being an adult. Even if you don't mean it a certain way, if it's perceived a certain way from someone that that you value. And I would say that she values her supporters and fans. Right. These are people that get her through. She would express, hey, guys, like this is not what I meant, but I understand how it could be perceived this way. My bad for that. 
because it's on you as the creator. You should take the responsibility because you're the one that said it. That just should be regular adult stuff. If you a man, that's regular man stuff. If you're a creator, I respect the creators that if they make mistakes, it's cool if they come out and, you know, they let it be known. They don't just like bull crap about it and don't take accountability. Like people like, uh, for instance, Adam 22 from No Jumper. That's why he's going through the stuff he's going through now. Some of the stuff I don't think that he should be going through. I think it's foul. The one like false allegations or something. Crazy wrong. I don't care how crappy of a person he is. I'm never going to say that's okay. But in all the things he's done that's actually wrong, he's never came out and let it be known or addressed it during conversation and say, I messed up with that. It's always, oh, well, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. People, they, they realize when, when you don't take accountability, they're going to want to separate themselves from you. They're going to want to not be around you. In an internet world, it's worse. People, especially if they were fans of you, right? When they start to lose respect. Some of them are willing to go to the extreme or some of them just don't like you. They, they have even more of a disdain. Even if they don't go to the extreme, they have more of a disdain and a distaste in their mouth because they felt lied to. It's like, you not who you said you was. You caring and you the person that saw, oh, I care and I'm emotional about the children and I care about these cases and blah, blah, blah. And then you come out here and you show your butt. I'm trying to, I was trying to censor myself. I think YouTube is still going to have a problem with me saying, but though, the term is show your ass. <laughs> I tried to sit to myself and then I thought right after I said it, I'm like, they still going to demonetize me. Bro. <laughs> oh man, I hope I don't get a strike. Listen, you better support me on my other stuff as far as my other channels while you can. Right? Support my YouTube and my main channel. But yeah, she goes out here right after saying that fake lovey dovey stuff shows her butt. Right? Goes and just puts her foot in her mouth. I am at peace with my grieving. I have let my mother go. Thank you. I've let my mother go. I cannot look at my mother suffer. I want her to be with the Lord. That's where she belongs. My sister cannot let her go. My stepfather will not let her go. But I will not watch my mother suffer. I'm not doing it. You ever want to say everybody grieves differently? Well, guess what? I'm not letting. I am not. So your grief is to just like disassociate. Molly Go Lightly's way of grieving is to act like it, it doesn't exist. She's just like, well, she gone to me. <laughs> She's she gone to me. Listen, I don't know what decision I would make if I was in that position. To be honest, like the either choice isn't like really easy. Right. There's a whole bunch of factors that you would have to think about, to be honest. Right. Um, I think in this instance, uh, it's kind of like Molly is kind of more selfish about it. She's more worried about herself, not even her family, not like a sister, or not even, even the mother, to be honest. She's more on some it hurts for me to even think about. So I'm not going to think about it. She's gone. I've accepted that I'm moving on. Whoa, that's that's intense. I'm about to make me call my mama and tell her I love her right now. Y'all, that's, whoa. Yo, I don't know what type of time Molly's on. I can't move like that, bro. One, hypothetically, it would have to be a, uh, not even a family decision, more so. Um, in my case, it would be immediate family, right? Me and my older brother. We would have to make those decisions together, right? Um, and actually really sit there and really think about what's best. Or what would mom have wanted in that scenario? Um, I definitely wouldn't just be disassociated. It's just like, well, it never happened. I'm out. She's gone already. She gone. That's what was happening in my mind. Y'all saying she's going to regret it. I believe so. I definitely believe so, man. Molly's crazy. Talk, everybody else is talking. I mean, at least you're telling the truth. 
everybody's selling my business, but it's actually a pack of lies. Just so you know. That's a giant KFC cola right there. That was the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I, I didn't know the. I didn't know the KFC Cola was like that. I, I ain't know that. I was, that's a huge goat. Is that the same friend that she talking on the phone with? The one that tried to snatch the, the giant cheese out of her hand? I was like, mm mm, mm mm. You can't eat this. Have you looked in the mirror? That was their friend that said that. Is that the same one talking to them as they drinking this giant Coke? Um, I can't handle being at my mom's house right now because the truth of the matter is, is my, my sister's got it into her head now that's. Um, they're gonna make sure they do. They're trying to get my mother out of that hospital because basically that hospital wants to drink that last tumor tomorrow and allow her to pass in her own home. Uh, not trying to get too into your personal family business, Molly, even though you made it a public topic. I don't know why. That's so crazy. Oh, yeah, because it's Molly Golightly. Yeah, she she on that type of nasty time. But I would say if I was in that position or as in the person who might be passing soon, I would probably want to go my home. I've had relatives that I've lost that didn't get the opportunity to do such. And I know they really wanted to. Right. So I, I don't know. I don't know if you you just want some F that she's gone in your head after the rest of your your family's feelings and how they could want to do things. It's just, yeah, this is just messy. This is real messy. And for her to, to put it all over YouTube and on social media, is just even more messy. Which now my sister's got it in her head that if they use some, some CBD, THC, honey, herbs, and some uh, a dual dewormer, that they're gonna, that, that I'm going to be there to document three months of a miracle where she's going to come back to life 100%. They want to doc? How? Wait, so, first of all, I'm not a doctor. I don't know if none of that stuff, none of that stuff work, right? I can't diagnose nobody, but her family wants her to document her magically coming back. This sounds crazy. And if you don't want to document it, Molly, why are you on here talking about it online where it's being recorded and document it. You want to answer that, Molly? Okay. Thank you, answer free. And I'm sitting there saying to my sister, hello, Dawn, hello, this woman that was at my mother's house the other day, she caught her cancer early. And then, you're, you're I think, in my opinion, one second, one second, let me finish my talk. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Molly, you got so bad. She got so bad. You can just see her eyes. If you, don't, if you don't let me do my theatrics, if you don't let me come on here and expose my personal business to everybody in peace. Yo, this is crazy. She's a wild, wild woman. Please let me finish my thought. I gotta finish my thought. The woman that was standing in the yeah, kitchen. Let, let her, her finish her thought. She not only Hit the like button, her, guys. Hit the like button. And had an me. Did anyone see where she said they were to catch my mom, my sister say, oh, yeah, while we were in the hospital in the beginning, they said, oh, we can't start um, the cancer treatment because your mom's got COVID, but she didn't have any signs of COVID. And then the woman, Ann, said to my sister, oh, you need to. They're doing a lot of zooming. And this just seems like it's really personal. And that this shouldn't be really like a, like, like a online thing. I just, I don't know, man. Uh, of course, I can't tell people what to do and you make your own decisions, but this, this is like extremely extra. I know if I was in their family, I would be highly offended that they're, they're doing all of this publicly. To get a lawyer. And I went, what? Putting it in, the, putting my sister's head. Now you got to get away. No, no, no. Fuck you. And I was just like, you know what? Don't be putting these thoughts into my fucking sister's head. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, Molly apparently is the victim in this situation with her mother passing. So, not her mother. The person who might be passing soon, who wants to go in a comfortable way, more than likely. Not the, the sisters, the family. Nah, Molly's the victim because she has the YouTube channel and she could come out here and exploit 
of family bought his nastiness and emotionally manipulate her fans. A fucking lawyer, get the fuck out of here. And don't be putting this crazy shit in my mom's, in my sister's fucking head that she's going to fucking miraculously change them. And my sister's here telling me, Marissa, we can change the fucking world. If we can bring her back, practical fucking magic with these essential things and these. I don't this, believe this fucking Molly. Crazy shit, okay? Like these fucking wishes. Here we go. Here we go. Man, I don't know anything about the Draymond McCray situation at all. I kept hearing about it. And a few people asked me to cover it, but I was so out the loop. I was just like, yeah, I don't want to touch that because uh, I know nothing of it. Right. But, you know, Molly going to throw that out there. You know, she going to throw the, that out there and milk it. Of course, now she's comparing her life to the Draymond McCray situation somehow. She want to inject herself in these situations so bad, bro. Like, if that's not clear, that's, that's Molly's goal. She wants to be in every scenario. Everyone. That's what she wants. Which is a fucking each one. If we do this in three fucking months, the hell? we found the... You, you rolled your eyes? Thank you, Tammy. That we... That we <laughs> found the character of cancer. We will be... She thinking her supporters for rolling their eyes. That's hilarious. It's wow. Like, imagine if you documented it, I'm gone. Just like, but think about it. You'll be documented. Nobody ever documented. They just talk about that journey. But they, you should put people on your channel. We'll actually see it. She's like, we got to do this. She goes, I'll put all my stuff in storage and move up here. I'm going. Now, this, I don't believe this, but I sound like something Molly would say. Is, her, is Molly's sister like Molly? That's Molly Jr. Is, does Molly's sister want to exploit the same way Molly? exploits that sound like something molly would want to do is film a whole documentary of her mother passing and put it out on the internet that that sound like a molly thing i'm trying to process looking at my mother in the shape that she's in she's just fucking skinny she's this fucking skinny you fucking motherfucker yo and yo, like, yo 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 con you you yeah I'm not trying to make a joke out of this. Yo, like maybe you shouldn't be online speaking about this if it's causing you this much stress, like, yo, it's like she's literally sacrificing her life. Personal life, I mean, guys, and like just things going on in her background for the sake of getting clicks and views. This is crazy. Wow. I can shake my sister and I want to shake my stepfather because my stepfather believes everything these motherfucking doctors are saying. And then when they, then when they tell my, my stepfather, there's nothing else we can do. But we Yo, want to Molly's sisters more like her. Oh man! I'm like you, motherfuckers. You want to beat the shit out of my fucking mother when you're already saying there's nothing we can. With radiation? Ah, uh, maybe somebody can tell tell me in the comment section. I, I don't know much about dealing with um with cancer, even though I think uh, I'm pretty sure I have a relative that has it, but I never dived into the details. Right. I don't know what procedures are going on. I do know radiation and stuff like that, but is that like like beating someone? I do remember when I had, had surgery and I had to get certain x-rays and they made me drink certain radiation stuff. It felt horrible. I say, I, yo, I never felt sicker. And they kept trying to get me to like stomach this weird uh, liquid pause um, that was supposed to help with the the like the cat scans and x ray it was crazy fam and like yo it was almost impossible that gym was making me sick so if there's any comparison to that it's probably that times 10 um it got, probably feels horrible but she's saying like beat like i don't know if there's a chance it could help i don't see how it could be bad but then again i don't, I don't know i'm not in this scenario you fucking do why do you think that i am so fucking tell me what you guys think when i look at my mother all right, this is the thing. This is what pisses me off. When I, what I am actually saying is, <laughs> what is up with my? I'm like, mom, do you know who I am? This, yo, yo, Molly, Molly, you gotta stop. This is this is your mother, Molly. Molly, this is your yo, Molly. Why? You, I'm not trying to laugh, Molly. Yo, she is. But look at her face. Molly, yo, this is so wrong, bro. This is crazy. Yo, this is your mother. 
Yo, she about to make me call my mom and tell her I love her, man, because she's wild. And this is the, the craziest disrespect. This is the craziest disrespect. Yo, mom is passing away. According to you, she already is gone. And you, you want to do comedy sketches? You want to do impersonations right now? This is extra, extra, extra. I don't want to read all about it. Yeah. What the fuck is that? And then I, that, I remember that's what my I was family asking. and my nephew says, Molly. oh, I played music and, and grandma starts singing. Excuse me? So I go back to the hospital on Monday. Ma, do you know who I am? And my mom goes, Yo, Molly, stop. So I, stop. Yo, Molly, this is so wrong. I'm yo, I'm trying to hold my laughter in with all of my might, yo. You gotta stop, Polly. Please, out of respect for your mother. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm I'm begging you. Like <laughs> what the yo, the zombie? Like, oh my mom's in a thriller video? Like, why are you doing that? What's well, it? You said my fucking mother is it's fucking coherent. And he says, well, yesterday, she wasn't I think this her way of coping? She had like a burst of energy. It usually happens in the morning. Ma, do you know who I am? Uh, yes. Y'all said she, y'all think this is her way of coping? And if this wasn't Molly on a day-to-day -day basis, with her being extra to try to get these clicks and views, and she didn't admit to me in a calm voice, she damn near had a British accent. She damn near and she's actually. I quite like getting views a lot. It's all about the monetization. <laughs> damn near. My, I, that wasn't a British action, by the way. I didn't want to even mess it up by trying to do one. But I saw I just did a normal, sophisticated voice. Switched up her whole persona. Just actually. I, I was thinking about adding you to my reality TV show, Beast Boy. Yes. It, it's. Definitely gonna get some clicks and you. no, I don't wanna be on that. What the wrong with you? Um, but yeah, so the fact that we see her put on an act on a regular basis, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Her coping in this degree is, it seems odd to me, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is coping. She's legitimately losing it. And it, it seems to be the same exact way when she's just fake losing it for views. Not another she's one. Gone. To me, she's gone. I'll never take that comment away. That I, I, I stand to it. I, I, she's gone. Molly, you gotta That's stop. Hit the That's like button, guys. Hit the, the like button. She's like this. Yo, That's Molly. My to me, my mom's gone. That that's that's my mother. I can say it. I've said it to my sister. I've said it to my stepfather. I've said it to my husband. Now you know when you come on the internet and be like, "She's gone." Everyone's gonna think your mother passed, right? You you're aware of that. Molly's not stupid. She might act like it, but that's her persona. She's not stupid. She like we've seen behind the scenes reality TV show with her going crazy and crying, and then going, "Is it good?" And then going and turning regular. We've seen it. We've seen in the interviews with her admit to all of this. We've seen it, fam. This is all an act. She's gone. And it's just nasty that she's using her mother for an act. She's gone. I forgot there was somebody even on the phone. My sister's prolonging it. My, my, my sister said, my mom, my sister said, my sister said, you're able to let her my, go. My, and my, sister said, yeah. sister said, my sister said, my sister said, my sister said, she sounded like the water boy. My mama said that George Washington was the deaf. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to watch them. I ain't watched that in years. Mama invented electricity. <laughs> Yo, he really thought his mama invented electricity. Oh, The Water Boy is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my life. That's a funny movie. My mama said alligators got all them teeth. That's why they mad. <laughs> Say, well, mama wrong. <laughs> no, Colonel Sanders, you're wrong. I could quote that whole movie to you, God. I watched The Water Boys so many times. I can't um, look. My, mama my said, sister is saying to her, we're going to get you better. We're George, watch this. And I'm sitting over here going, 
How are we going to do this? How the hell do you think we're going to do this? Because these motherfuckers in the hospital have already written her off. Because I've heard them say, we're just going to make her comfortable. There's nothing we can do for her. Sorry. Understand your frustration. I mean, wouldn't she be like in a hospice if that was the case, right? I don't know. I don't know. I would think me personally, comfortable isn't in a hospital with a bunch of tubes and and like wires. I'm over there looking like like I'm Iron Man and ish. Man, we got machines beeping all loud. The food's nasty. Man, if I'm gonna go, let me chill. Let me chill. Watch some TV. Right? <laughs> let me do the things I want to do. You are looking at it in a reality, like absolutely. She looked mad. I know. Justin explained it. Yeah, Justin explained it. He said that in hospice, he had seen people get these little bursts. He goes, I know what you're talking about. He goes, that does happen. Yes, it does. It doesn't mean that they're okay. It just means that that moment. Right. Here. But that doesn't mean that they're okay or, uh, you know. Fit Molly. Yo, Fit Molly. Yo, you wow him. You got to relax. Yeah, you're like legitimately, man. And this isn't me like doing the fake empathy thing or pretending to care because I don't. I don't actually at all. Um, but like just from a, a citizen watching from afar, if this is not all an act, you should probably keep this off the Internet. Right. Just just me personally. I just think maybe the Internet isn't the best place for this. This seems like a, a family issue that needs to be resolved behind the scenes. Make like a miraculous recovery. You know, I don't know the whole situation, but I just feel like you are trying to be realistic and you already prepared yourself because you know the outcome. Mm-hmm. Whereas, you know, there, other people in your family are kind of, they can't let that enter them yet. Yeah. My stepfather said, my, my stepfather said he wants 10 years. My mother said, I want three years. My sister said she wants three years. My stepfather said, I want 10 years. I said, I, this is my stance. I said, I, I said, this is not fair. I don't want her to suffer. I go, she's suffering. Wait, 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 wait. How, how many years are we in? That's actually pretty important. That's an important question. How many years are we in? Because if, if Molly is doing this, and this is like the first year, and she's like going against her, her own mother's wishes, is crazy. Right? I don't know. I feel like there's something ain't, ain't right. Something don't sound... Right. And also, if I haven't said it enough, this shouldn't be on the Internet. Right. I think she's purposely putting this on the Internet for a show. This is a show. Bam! I've lost relatives and done live streams and videos and didn't mention it once. But then later on, if I'm telling a story during a live stream, I'll let people know it's a relative that passed or a friend that passed because I'm telling a story that involves them or whatever. Right. But I didn't sit here. My relative passed away today. We got to make funeral arrangements. This I got to go to the hospital. I didn't say none of that shit because it's not for the Internet. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it's disrespectful to the relative, your family member, all of your families, maybe even disrespectful to yourself. But Molly doesn't she doesn't live in that world, the world of logic. She lives in a world of entertainment where everything can be used to get views, clout, and attention. That's what she do. She has no limits. She's been in people's, she brought the camera in someone's funeral. She went into church trying to spy on people with the camera. Trying to get all fancy devices and whatnot. I need these glasses with the camera in it. She does this. There's no limits. Yeah, that's not fair. Not fair. You know, in my opinion, that's just kind of I am not the decider. I am not the decider of anything. Yeah, this I'm is none of our business. Just, She's I'm making it our business. That. My youngest brother, my younger brother, completely detached. He won't go to the hospital. He doesn't help any, with anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I, some people might regret that later on in life not spending as much time as possible with your loved one before they go what okay um 
maybe it's not for everybody. You know what I mean? Uh, people handle grief in different ways, right? People handle grief in different ways. But it's just, I, more importantly, if there's anything that I speak about involving this, is it's none of our business and it shouldn't be on the internet. But the fact that she made it public, right, gives people the opportunity to speak on it. So as she's suspended, she decides, I have to. I have to put some videos out. So she does that. That's not good enough. Now, now she she's doing live streams. This is crazy, fam. The stuff that she's getting off. She's risking it all. She can get her channel permanently deleted. And then she'll be banned from YouTube. Oh, man. She's going to lose her mind, fam. And I, I don't hope for that to happen. I'm anti-cancer culture. I've seen people going out there and trying to flag her channel and all that. I'm just, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to mass flag. I'm just going to roast her and give my opinion on how I disagree. But that's just my personal opinion. Tell me what yours is in the comment section. Let's take a look at this video from the live stream. Uh, why, Molly? Like, M Molly, like, why, why was that necessary? Straight crazy, man. Everyone, the person claiming to be a lawyer, she's not a lawyer, she's crazy. All right, go ahead. Yeah, it says I can go live on my first channel in like 48 hours. Molly, this is why are you doing? Come on. Come on. You're bugging. You have to know that there's a bunch of people that's reporting that. Like, come on, man. She's bugging. You came on just to talk crap or just to tell people your personal business. Like, why? Is this therapeutic for you? I don't think that's good. You you could get a, a therapist. You go get a therapist if you really need one. Mommy's getting color in her face. I, I, I don't know why people are saying that. Two strikes, only have one. I don't. I don't, everyone. <laughs> Shay says. I can't believe how low people can go. I can. <laughs> it's okay. She might have two on separate channels, but if she only has one, all right, cool. You, you still could possibly lose your channel for what you're doing in this very moment. Uh, like, I, I don't know why you bragged about only having one. Okay. It's okay. I'm She's Molly Golightly. I can believe it. I'm, I, I'm Molly Golightly. I can believe it. And guess what? Justin can too. Hey, T.O. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's really not as big as anyone's making it. I'll be fine, don't worry. My first priority really is my family. We are just checking something out. I don't, I don't think that's the case. When you, you're coming on here, like, and I'm not trying to go hard. I know like her family, she's going through something, dealing with grief and a loss. It can, that could be intense. That could be extremely intense. But I don't think that that's your, your first priority, Molly. It don't seem like it. It don't seem like you're making that your, your priority. Your family don't seem like it. My mom's hanging in there. Is My mom's she, hanging in there. I thought she said she was gone, Molly. You said she was gone recently, Molly. Come on. On the bell of the bull? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll tell you one thing. Justin has been great, a great help for my sister. My, hey Jen, uh, my, my, Justin uh, has been a great, oh my God, thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you so much. Honestly, you guys have been such a great help with everything. Uh, Justin has been- I think people are donating. I can't see the screen, but damn, Molly, you couldn't just wait. You couldn't just wait. Come on, yo. Like, this is crazy. Like, you're really risking it. And you know what? I ain't going to keep saying that because it sounds like at this point, I'm dead there caping for Molly. <laughs> And I think she's wrong, right? I think she's nasty. I think that anyone out here doxing people just because you disagree with them is disgusting, right? No matter what your political beliefs are, no, no, no. Yeah, nah. You're, you're wilding out, for sure. Um, like a 24-hour help for my sister. He's been able to answer a lot of questions and help my sister out a lot um, with this. Actually, Why a lot of you, you have. sharing so your personal you. business? My sister is, um, I don't know what she... I, I don't know if she thinks she's a shaman or a witch of Eastwick, but my mother's got some, um, uh, she's got color back in her face. And she, when she looks at us, she looks like she's looking at some uh, aliens. Um, what? I've never really dealt with anyone in stage four cancer before. So. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I'll be honest with you. That sounds wild. But then again, I don't know. I haven't experienced that. So who knows? But let me know in the comment section. That's crazy. So uh, it's very hard. And uh, I'm learning stuff every day. My, mom, my sister burnt her hand 
changing my mom's diaper. I never knew that um when you have a Wait, what? Uh, radiation come out in urine that oh thank you thank you Excuse so much Billy, that my sister is getting burned changing her diaper i don't know if that is that true i don't know i'm not a doctor guys i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know it all but that that sounds wild that sounds whoa whoa that sounds intense we, we got to get that radiation out of her. I don't know if that's true. I'm, I'm very... Uh, I mean, know the comment section. You really you know. want to know. Um, I, I personally really don't want to make um, um, my mother's illness content. You my are, My sister though. wanted me to document... Um, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. She wanted you to document cool, but then you continuously are making it the topic of your live streams. The journey of saving my mom. So a video that I put out last night... Uh, yeah, kind of wasn't supposed to really be put out. So I was like, oh, shit. And I thought there's actually other videos that we have. That, thank God I didn't accidentally really put out. Yeah, radiation burns. That's what it is. Yeah. She accidentally put that out. Yo, Molly, I, come on, man. Why are you, you sitting here capping right now? Yeah, but we've been. She was not wearing gloves, but we she, she did other times. So she did learn her lesson. So she's that got a few days of getting that radiation. That's so out. unfortunate. Yeah, I never knew that either. So you do learn quick. And my sister needs to get back. They're gonna stop paying her next Tuesday. That FLMA thing she was talking about. So I don't know what this that is, is this is gonna be very rough. Um we just wanna see where my mom's gonna be at. Um I'm why does this have to be like like anything other than family business though? Like that's maybe that's what I'm having a hard time like grasping. Why does this have to be anything besides family business? Why are you going out your way to make it everyone else's business? People are going to talk about it and react to it. I'm actually I really have no idea what this live stream is about. Mom's answer. I, I'm afraid to even Not touch her. But my mom and my stepfather have been really great with her. I'm scared to death to touch her. Oh, I'm back at the house right now. I'm not here to talk about shit like that, Donna. Please, please, Donna, if you have respect for me. I'm um, trying to update my supporters with my mother, which I, th I think that's too personal. What are, I think she out here, empathy and sympathy baiting, emotionally manipulating. I don't know what the person came into the chat and said. It must have been about maybe the drama or Molly doxing and doing things of that nature. I think it's way more important, Donna. If you can have some respect, I'd appreciate it. I'll have, leave some and and have some respect. Are you respecting your mother by, by not putting her business out here in the streets or your family? That sounds crazy. I have some respect as I exploit the heck out of my, my family and what's going on in our life. I have some respect. And Adrian's dealing with a lot of things and Jake is, Jake needs to concentrate on school right now. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Um, Jake needs to concentrate on school. That's all he owes me is to get his education. And uh, I'm really sad to oh, hear okay. about what happened in Nashville at that school. As soon as I, my stepfather came into the house yesterday, he told me about what happened to those six, the 28 year old woman? Yeah, that was uh, I don't think it was a woman, Molly. Um, check out my video on it, guys. Uh, if it's not on my main channel, it's on my second channel. Go check that out. I did a, a detailed video on it. It's, it's super crazy. And I think the person identified as transgender as well, right? Um, it's a, it's a wild event that took place, man. It's really unfortunate and tragic. Went into that school. I was heartbroken yesterday. And then, of course, another derailment. A little suspicious on that. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, there's a, a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Thank you, Mary. And also to you. And I'll tell you what. They always say, you know, don't mess with people. You never know what they're going through. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate that. And it is true. You walk by any person, whether it be... Is, is this her trying to say, leave her alone and don't give her criticism or roast her because she's going through something personally? I don't think that's going to fly, Molly, especially due to the fact that you, you don't care about what people are going through. Man, when you, your friends were doxing me, I was going through some stuff in my personal life, man, a lot. A lot, maybe even some similarities to what you're going to um, through. 
Um, except for it was kind of abrupt, but yeah, fam, I I just had to what's the name persevere. I just had to persevere and continue to go. Um, I'm not saying it's right. If anyone's trying to go over the top and knowing that you're going to do something, trying to push you over there, I don't think that's right. But if you're a public figure, criticism is going to come all day, every day, all day, every day. It just is what it is. So when you come in and you talk about people the way you do and get into their personal lives and even dox people, that whole, oh, you know, you never know what someone's going through. You didn't know what you was going, what people, what people were going through when you were doxing people. So yeah, that's not going to fly, Molly. On the street, no dice. Everybody's going through something. Whether they, whether they, they're quiet, whether they're angry, doesn't matter. Everybody's holding on to something. Everybody's yeah. battle every day. Mississippi tornadoes. I, I don't have any knowledge of of that. My God, I'll tell you one thing: if they're trying to get rid of us, they're doing it. Oh my God. We won't hear any of their names now, will we? But I'm sure 10 people will be talking about Summer Wells tonight, won't they? Or they'll be talking about me, who's nobody, right? Talking about Summer Wells? Why would they be talking about Summer Wells? Is there an update for that? Did they find her? Why would they be? We looked it up. Why would they be talking about Summer Wells right now? They'll be talking about me. Ain't that something? We need to start reevaluating what's important in life. And if you're in- oh my god! I hate when creators do this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh man, it's so soft. Then when you're the one out there casting the stones and throwing shots and roasting people and calling people out their name and doing all types of stuff, you ain't no victim then. You tough, big bad Molly. So now don't come on here and just like oh man. There's other things you could focus on and talk about besides me. Well, there's plenty of other things you could have talked about besides what you talked about when you was out here talking about people crazy. There's plenty of things you could have done besides go to people's front lawns and then try to like cause them even more trauma than what they already gone through. And you did it though. Capable of that? That's pretty scary. Start re-evaluating what's important in your life. I'm going to tell you something. I've said this over and over again. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a platform. Use it for something good. She's, I'm telling you, she's blatantly telling people, don't talk about me no more. Talk about something else. Talk, talk about something else. Don't talk about me. Shut up. I'm going to roast you whenever I feel like it. What are you talking about? I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you nothing. I have integrity. So when I see things get done like mass flag campaigns, people trying to get you banned, I'm going to speak up and say, yeah, that's not right. You're nasty. You deserve criticism. You're horrible. Whatever punishment you get because YouTube decides to give it to you, whatever. I feel indifferent. But I'm not going to root for you. Downfall, man. I'm just giving my criticism. In my opinion, I'm not a cancel culture kind of guy. YouTube is the future. You have a monetized channel. Use it for something good. And from what I'm hearing today, all these channels are starting to declare war. Listen, why not? I'm just going to say this. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Smarty. I'm going to say this. Anyone who thinks that they hold power over another channel, and you're talking about that power, just remember what goes around comes around. What you're asking for is World War Three. She literally does stuff like that. Molly, you you talking to you yourself. You've been doing that for a long time. Molly, like, are you, are you serious? She can't be serious. No, she's serious. She really serious. Wow. I, whoa. <laughs> Molly, that's, that's what you do. World. World. Meaning that can be done onto you. So what? Everyone's going to all pitch in and do it all to each other. That means we're all going to be wiped out. So if I'm wiped out, the people who are making money on me are all going to fire back on you for hurting their pocket. Oh, my God. Yo, the guilt tripping, the gaslighting, all, all the things she's doing right now, manipulation techniques, emotional. If, oh, I'm going through something with my family. Don't talk about me. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Um, well, 
well, karma, back up. No, karma, no. Well, the people that, that talk about me, they're not going to have nothing to talk about. So, no, they'll, they'll find some something else. There's always a new crazy. There's always a new crazy that's just out here, just being wild. There's always a new one. What you talking about? Don't you understand that? Do you realize what you're trying to do is going to backfire? That's, that's a- not a good thing, and nor is it very smart. And it's also against terms of service. So if you think that people aren't going to report that, you could come down faster than I can. Believe that. People and why you would take my advice and take a monetized channel and do something good with it. What? No. Oh, man, I hate what you want to do with that. Damn. You are so entitled to think that people have to take your advice, Molly. People don't have to take your advice. I, I wouldn't take your advice for nothing. Molly tried to tell me what type of content I needed to do. I was like, shut up. <laughs> so this is back. I was like, yeah, shut up. No, no, I'm good. I don't think I'm going to take your advice. You crazy. She wanted me to do pranks. She wanted me to do pranks, street pranks. Crazy. It's beyond me. Because you could be up there, right? Great news the other night. 100,000 subscribers. I went in there, I went into his chat. He had 112 people sitting there. I don't know how that's possible, but I guess it's possible. Right? I guess. Oh, it's better than my numbers. <laughs> hey, whoever came there, they there for them. I'll tell you that much. Whoever's there, they there for them. Possible. Somehow, it's possible. What goes around comes around. And one thing I learned, there is no loyalty here. Good. Oh, shut up. Gotcha. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> to be quite honest, Molly Golali could use a nice little break. You know, something, nothing will give me a bigger smile than to know I heard a lot of people in their pockets. I'm pretty sure. Molly, I know you ain't talking about me. I got like 17 channels that each talk about different topics. Girl, <laughs> like you, you cut it out. You ain't talking about me. So, uh, if she's talking about some smaller channels that all they talk about is Molly and uh, whatever, that's part of the game. People like their content, so they're going to watch it, Molly, even if it's about you. Just is what it is. My even if it's about you. Would never really be taken down. I think I could make a lot of money on that one. <laughs> Not for nothing. <laughs> the heck is she talking this about? Live wasn't, no, this wasn't planned. This was just a test. Listen, everything that I've done with the well situation, you know what? I, I did it with a good purpose. Wait, what? So that's kind of like you admitting that you were wrong. And mind you, I, 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 I said that. Guys, I, I have like a whole documentary about Molly Go Lightly in the Summer Wells case. Go check that out on my channel. Should be in my internet history playlist. Yeah, check that out. But Molly, it sounds like you admit that you were wrong and you, you did a lot of nastiness for that quiet I'm wrong. I like, know. That I'm wrong was a little too quiet. I'm going to need you to put the bass in your, your voice, Drago. I'm going to need you to be die, you die. I need you to one time hit one of those because that, whoa. Acknowledge the, the lives that you, you probably affected. Not even probably that you did affect by going out there and getting people fired from their job and harassing them all day and night. The, the, the mental stress you probably cause on people. And I'm not the guy that's like going to be emotion first, guys. Be clear. Be clear, I'm, I'm not with cancer culture. I'm not with that emotional stuff and fake sadness. I call people out. I roast people and I have a good time. He got on fire. Hey, that's just what came out of it. If he wasn't playing games, it wouldn't happen. What else did Molly go lightly mess up? What else did she do? You know what? I, I did it with a good purpose. Oh, but you got on fire. Hey, that's just what came out of it. If he wasn't playing games, it wouldn't happen. Wow. What else did Molly go lightly mess up? What else did a she lot. do? Huh? I don't know. Yeah, not a lot, that's Molly. Enough. A lot. You you messed up on a whole lot, fam. Yo, Molly, you you out here tripping. A horrible person. No. So anyway, um. Oh, Betty, how are you? I'm not a member, but I wanted to say I love you. Aw. Yeah, keep Betty out of this. She didn't do anything wrong. You know what? Don't let Betty any chance they they, they try. Any chance they can get to just do a jig right at her. They're gonna take it, right? Ooh, boy. Right? They'll do it. She didn't do nothing. So she boy, nearly breathed. Boy, boy's still riding with the wave. <laughs> Paul's still riding with the wave. She's still riding with the team. She's still on it. Justin, <laughs> how dare you, Betty? She breathed. <laughs> so anyway, the hours. we've had a lot of fun here. And you want to know something? Uh, I will proudly say that I have not left heels on the ground. And if Betty needs me, 
to start yelling somewhere, I'll be there. Even if I don't even have, even if I don't have a YouTube channel, I'll still be there. What's wrong because with you? Every day. That- <laughs> What's wrong? So Molly, this must be something you're not telling us. You're you tripping. You, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, okay. Sound like foreshadowing, but what's what's wrong with you? And you still gonna go and yell at people? Molly, crazy yo. She really trying to do this reality TV show. It's gonna fail. It's gonna fail unless I'm producing it. If I'm producing, I might be able to save y'all. I may be able to save y'all. Y'all gonna let me do it my way. That I've yelled. I've met, well, hey, I've yelled, I, I've meant it. I never showed up for a photo op. Yes, you did. I've never showed up because there was a news camera there or yes, you did. myself. Yes, you did. <laughs> Molly, why you lie? Why you lie? Why you lie, Molly? Molly, Mo, why you lie? Molly, why, why you lie, Molly? You definitely show up for the camera. You, you, sometimes you show up with your own camera in the news or get an interview by CNN or some bullshit. Um, I, I actually yelled because I stood for something. I stood outside Quentin Simon's house because I cared. And I will never in a million years. Yo, no, you did it for, you did it for the views and cloud and all that stuff. Let's just be real. Let's be real. That's what you do, Molly. Ever. Say I'm sorry to Billy Joe Howell. Do you want to know why? Because I'm honest and I'm not fake. And I will always stand with the victim and I will always speak for these babies. And I will always be a voice for the voiceless. And I will pray that none of you raise a daughter that turns into an animal. Wait, what? What do you t- You're the emotional manipulation. A hundred percent of what she out here doing. A hundred percent. Feel bad for me. You can't give me criticism because I'm doing good work. First of all, you doing bad work. You doing bad work. Your work ain't good. You messing up cases is what the word in the streets is. Now, how are you exposing other people arrest history when you got an arrest history? Uh, you're still in purses. And also, you over there getting your cheeks clapped in Vegas or wherever that was. Like Leilani. And I hope that none of you would protect your child that is so lost like she is. And I'm hoping what? that you are not raising your children like trash. And what if you are, are you your children have lost their way. I'm what is she talking about? Them. Oh, yeah. I'll always stand. Period. Just remember. What is she talking? Y'all, I swear, fam. Like, I swear, the emotional manipulation is strong in this one. Betty, Betty, Dolly, even though Dolly's on my shit list, Betty, Dolly, me, Curly, Jackie Snotty, Justin, we were really all that baby had. Ricky, Bobby, Tony, Mike. Joey, JT, Lance, all the other members of NSYNC. Like, what? Do we, you know, when you shout out, shout outs to Joey for Tones. That's that play with my man. Shout outs to Joey for Tones. Who am I missing? JC Chazess? Pineapple Head? I don't know who Pineapple Head. I, I caught him Pineapple Head the entire time of his existence. I never knew his name. I never knew his name. I remember Saturday Night Live even did a joke about that. We thought we had someone else, but they turned out to be a total, total fake. And we hate to find that out later. But we, I never went down there with the intention of making money or getting more subscribers. That, really I know, but that, that just not, that's just not for me. That baby had nobody. And if anything, that grandmother wanted to silence us. That, that grandmother put horse manure. She put horse manure and sardines all over the lawn. Uh-oh. She tried to chase Betty and all of us away. I don't know if that's true or not, but why? Why? That's a crazy mix. Was that what that was? It was supposed to like be a smell that made y'all get off her front lawn. I don't know how that's not illegal. People could just go in your front lawn and harass you all night legally. That's crazy. I'd have got the hose for the hose, sprayed them down. Spread them now. Get out my town. And they put Disney Ice Capades music. And they laughed and they danced and they partied. That's what they did. And they hit. They hit. And I did the right thing. Don't sound like by right picking now. up the sign that said lock them up. And some people might say, you know what, Marissa, that was a little too harsh. Well, you want to know something? I believe that sometimes you need to be a little too harsh. 
I, all right. In this case, right, I don't remember exactly every detail. Were the people that she did this to guilty? Because if not, she's a piece of crap. Whoa, you just out here harassing people like that? How you going to just harass somebody like that? Why are you harassing people like that, Molly? What's wrong with you? Because dancing and singing and laughing and partying it up and then walking down the street to the babysitter who's sitting in a chair with her Bible and her crucifix and her rosary. She's sitting home babysitting children who are special needs and has another job living quite meagerly. There's nothing that's growing a child dumpster. Well, yeah, I know. You know what? Grandma went on in there, busted on into our house, making. I don't even know what they're talking about. Maybe I should look more into it. But I literally have no idea who or what she's talking about at all. And threats and attacked her. And you want to know, she, she, she had us in her house and we prayed with her. Me, Betty, and Justin, we all prayed with her. And I was scrutinized yeah, and lied about just for giving her a donation. Sorry. Oh, Molly must have had some sort of, uh, uh, what was it? She must have had some sort of... Ulterior uh, uh, motive? Ulterior well, motive for giving her a donation. No. I'm surgical with this shit. I'm trying to. I'm surgical, fam. I'm. I'm boy. Am I good? I'm good, man. Oh. And then a month later, they said, "Oh, she gave that money so that she could. Uh, so she'd have a, an interview. What interview? I never interviewed her. I gave it to her because she was sweet and she took care of Bullhorn Betty and she took care of all of us and she prayed with us. You want to know something? She didn't look like she was doing too good. And she was about to be evicted and she didn't feel safe in that house. That's why I gave it to her. You want to know something? Sometimes your heart and your gut just tells you do it. So you do it. You don't Man, ask shut up. You did it. You're such a good person, Molly. You're such a good person that you have to tell everybody how good of a person you are. That's that's great. Yeah, that's that's how you know you're amazing when when you gotta tell everybody how amazing you are. Oh gee. Oh gee. You know when Wado when man, Wado Fado used to say that in Family Matters? Oh gee. Oh, you just do it. You just do it. Why does everything that I do have to automatically come with a stamp or a label? That. That's good. I mean, it stamps bad before I even open my mouth. Well, that's what happens when it becomes a habit. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> when you just know for just being nasty for quite some time, like, yes, I will say. I don't think somebody should be judged forever, like for all of existence. Now you gotta like try to dump on them. No one can learn from their mistakes, but right? yeah, hundred yeah, percent, all that, all that. But uh, Molly, you you pretty nasty. You not like squeaky clean. You dock somebody within the last few days. That wasn't like a few years ago. You didn't learn from it. You're probably happy that you did it. Right, you're yeah, happy that you did it. You celebrating, you did a little dance. You can't dance. You got two left feet, but you did a little shuffle. You did a little shuffle. You was proud of yourself. You was real proud of yourself over here while you did that. I just, yeah, I'm not gonna rock with it. I'm not gonna roll with this. This whole victim, you the nicest person in the world stuff. I got one strike. I got one strike on my other channel. The notification that I got from YouTube says that I will be live. I'm not punching down. That I can be live on. Thursday. I did not lose any channels. It'll be there for 90 days. I have one strike. Listen, I've got we'll lots see. of strikes. I got like, this is like my 16th strike, but I only have one in that channel. It's funny. Molly. I get lots of strikes. Listen. Molly. What a proof. I gave the fucking proof. Now you're going to fucking cry? Oh, there's tons more. Molly, somebody, for somebody, this is great. For somebody that got a bunch of strikes, you, sh you sure act like you don't know the rules, though, bro. Like, wh why are you on live stream right now? What are you doing? This, this is crazy. But I'm not even going to go there anymore. Yeah, okay. Seems like there's selective proof. Thank you, Sonia. I appreciate that. Turns out there's tons of... Yeah, thank you so much. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that there's people here showing me love and support. Thank you, Sonia. And thank you, love my Porsche. I appreciate this. She's surprised she's getting donations. I'm, I'm even more In a stream where she's sad and saying how amazing of a person she is and playing victim and all this other stuff. She she don't think that she's gonna get donations in that very stream. Okay, I feel you though. I feel you. I feel you. I'm shocked that they were being so good. I, I thought you. everyone was supposed. I thought everyone was trying to tell me that they hated me. That I'm the most hated person in the world. Why? What did I do? Oh, you just. Boy, I fucked up. You just showed that you. 
you're not because your fans still rock with you. I'm over here on my grind. You're going to hear some clinking and all this other stuff. You probably heard me taking stuff out of my bag. I invited an evil oh. fucking person into my house. I did. Damn, I did. You, you know what? I, I should be held accountable for that. You know what? I'll tell you how I'm, I'm going to take accountability for that. Is I'm that tell on the phone? Do. I'm glad it happened to me and not you. Be thankful it happened to me and not you. You love me and Justin. You love me too. Trust me. We appreciate you guys. And we don't expect you guys to give us anything. I'm not asking you for anything. I don't expect anything. She's lying. Tacos is here to flatter herself. Trust me, she's very conceited. She's very conceited. She loves herself. She's filing her nails saying, yes, bitch. I'm the check. Okay, I'm done. Molly Golightly, she bugging out. I think she's crazy. She's asking for repercussions at this point. She, she just wants it. She's begging for it. And she might get it. More speculation. Um, whether I was shut down by mass recording, music, don't care. Doesn't matter. I think by that, she must mean YouTube terms of service violations. That's yeah, you wouldn't get uh, strikes for music per se, right? Usually you get a copyright, which means that the person who created the song gets paid for it. That's usually what happens. T-O-S, terms of service, violations. It's not music. I don't yeah, know that's if it's different. mass reporting, but it's certainly... Music, mass reporting for music wouldn't do that. So that's Molly blatantly lying. Also, if you got a strike, it tells you what for, or what realm it's for. If it's for bullying and harassment, then that means you said something crazy. There's no need to speculate, right? Now, if you got something like, uh, there's a few strikes I've gotten that made no damn sense, right? So where I had to revamp my channel and pretty much let YouTube know, hey, I do reactions occasionally. And then eventually they like, beyond strike, they, they took, because uh, I got demonetized and then they eventually monetized me again. And there was almost no difference to the content at all. Just more of an explanation as well as the description, putting a disclaimer that I don't own the copyright to all the material that I show um, if I'm doing a reaction and then I'm good. So um, other than like certain circumstances and exceptions that I've gone through, majority of strikes that you get on YouTube, they'll tell you the reasons why. Right. And I think for her, I think it might have been bullying. It isn't for music. It was for bullying. Yeah. It was for doxing and it was for yeah. trans bashing due to your. OK, so she's still doxing. Apparently, Molly does dox. I think I've been doxed, not by her per se, but I think I've been doxed within a private group. I think she sent me like screenshots of it once she had a falling out with these guys. She was like, for months, they've been doxing you in this private group chat that I'm in, that I've helped them actually do research on you. Okay. That's nasty. That's, na that's super nasty. But also, I guess, talking crap. Now, I don't know what she said about this person who identifies as trans, um, per se, and if it was actual hate, right? Um, I don't even want to risk playing the clip. Terrible behavior. You have no channel to go live on. Sorry. It she better be careful. Down. Um, I want Mallory to be held accountable for that money. I what? Um, oh, all right. So the stream that she was like saying all the crazy things and doxing people, I think she thought because she put it as a fundraiser that she was going to be allowed to talk as nasty and crazy as she wanted to. And that is not the case. When you break terms of service, it doesn't matter if you were doing a community service or whatever, a charity is what it is. So now she wants the person who she was speaking on, who I don't know or know anything about, but I know that they had a falling out. She wants them to be able to cover the money that was raised no i'm sure that the money that was that was raised if it was taken which i doubt it was i don't that mm, if you made a donation and i deleted the video i think i would still get the donation so if you got a video that got striked down and there was donations you might still receive it as long as you abide by terms of service and then once your your suspension is up you come back and you know do whatever you got to do if she got terminated, if she got terminated, then yeah, you're not getting that money back. But I think the, the charity um, will still get the money that was raised before you got terminated. I got people in the chat saying it was $20. It was $20. That's what she going to So just do another fundraiser live stream when you come back. I'm sure that you'll, you'll be able to raise the money that you're, you're looking to raise for the, the charity. I'm sure. She, she owes the money to thank you. That's all I want. So that's what she said? She, she doxed in and threatened this person? Oh, yeah. She was wilding then. 
Well, she was tripping. You know, this is a bit more of your manipulation because that money was sort of, I don't know, a question or a deal that she made with heels in the air. Not you, not Bombshell, not Whistledown. I don't know who most of these people not are. Not anyone else, but heels in the air. And she said, if you can find in my background that I was in prison for four years for car theft, that she would put up the money. I who haven't cares? seen anyone come up with that yet. Even though... I don't give a damn about who went to prison for how long. Hey, it's in my room. Who is this person? Oh, this is them saying that they didn't go to jail for four years? Hey, that would give me some very rich street vibe, wouldn't it? Would put me in a whole new light, I think. I almost don't even want to challenge it. I almost like it. Four years in black belt. We're in Jesus. Okay. Five. Gone in 60 seconds. Miss Williams. Well, 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 well. Did she say Switch gone in 60 seconds? seconds? Hey! Not only am I have never stolen a loaf of bread, a tube of Maybelline. You're lying. I've definitely never stolen a car, never spent a night in jail. Dude, you're lying. All right, that sounds suspect to me. Whenever someone says that they never stole something in their entire life, you're lying. People steal things by accident sometimes. <laughs> what? You never used a pen and then forgot it was in your hand or you put it in your pocket by accident and forgot to give it back? Guess what? You stole the pen. You might have given it back the next day, but you stole it. So to sit here and say you never stole anything in your entire life, I think that's just honest, especially as a kid. Come on, man. Whether it was change off the dresser, <laughs> candy, whatever. What? So, like, I don't trust people that's not honest, bro. Like, uh, come on, man. Anybody that stole something one point in time in their life, whether it was something as simple as a paper clip, a pencil, you just didn't think of it. But I would assume that because you said things like toothpaste, you're naming things that's not really, like, significant. So, which means you're lying. You definitely stole something and just didn't. Didn't care about it. Or the person that you stole from didn't care. Hmm? But they say you never stole something? I don't believe that. Listen, my love. My love yells in the air. Listen, I love her voice. Uh, She's not my biggest fan. Yeah. Yells in the air is not my biggest fan. But we make each other laugh. We're able to see the... That's what you're saying in chat too. So what if you never steal? That doesn't mean you're a good person exactly. And if you stole before in your lifetime, doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It's like getting an award for not cheating. is something that you expect. Right? Crazy. That's YouTube. That's what it is. YouTube, if you can appreciate the crazy bitch in one another, you're, you win at the end of the day. That's why. Oh, uh, I agree with that to some extent. Challenge! Sure. Yeah! What's this person talking uh, about? Yeah. I give you my permission. Because you're a good sleuth. The hell was that? I give you my permission to go through every little parlor trick you have to pull up my background anywhere, anyhow. If you can come up with any documentation that suggests or can show, that I spent one night in a jail anywhere. Who cares? In a little orange suit. Much less stole a vehicle. I will cash up you five hundred dollars. Now let's make it a thousand. Let's make it a thousand. Who? What? Who cares? All right. So you're confident that that you didn't, didn't do that. All right. So that means that Molly Golightly is spreading false information. Cool. I'm not betting nobody a thousand with nothing. Here's an air. Let's make it a grand. I would say the probably the opposite. If you can't show me proof that what you're accusing me of is true, then send me a thousand, nigga. All right. You don't be kind of crazy and just pick something off. I mean, you know, she would. She would. Something tells me. See, I made it a brain really easy because I'm that confident. I'm that confident. PayPal. No, I like everyone to know what about what Molly. Man, what are you talking about? There's two. Um, I want to hurt them in the pocket. What? And only I have the power to do that. Yeah, good luck with that. I thought you was a broke bitch. Girl, Molly's you not broke. That's whoever said that is a liar. Molly ain't broke. Molly makes a lot of money off of YouTube. Um, Alone. And I will be back when they are paying, uh, hurting in the pocket. Girl, you the only one hurting in the pocket right now. You I don't think Molly's hurting in the pocket, bro. I, uh, I want all of my patrons to know that I'm going to be taking their calls 24 hours a day. What? And there ain't going to be shit posted. 
And she taking calls? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got the crazy game in your It's hey, yo. like what? It's like what? It's like, Wait, so she says she's taking Patreon payments, but she's not going to be uploading to Patreon? And she's laughing about that? So your supporters are going to support you for, for nothing, right? If, which is their choice if they wanted to. But then now you're laughing like, I ain't even got to do nothing. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty nasty. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, I support nasty. you, Molly. You know yeah. that. And not only that. Yeah, they are tragedy but, uh, sumps. I'm going to wait until all these channels count on Mallory. Mallory only went to these junkie channels. I don't know what he's on. They were already about. after her anyway. And when they're all after her, she's, <gasps> Dude, she's giving them content. She said she's not giving, she's giving them content. That's a fact. She's giving them content, boy. I don't know, I could be wrong, but something tells me that she'll be okay. She's been doing it for a long time, taking a lot of heat, done a lot of stupid sh- mm. This is what it is, part of the game. Those channels will be making money. You know what? I'm going to my mom. We'll see. I got, I got some other things to do, and, and guess what? Oh, oh you got your mom. better saying, Molly, you ain't got $8,000. Molly got it. <laughs> Remember. Molly got it. I think Molly had a decent amount of money before YouTube, actually. Doesn't her husband make some, some bread, too, as well? So, yeah. I, I definitely think that, that Molly got the money. Over her YouTube alone, I know when she's actively doing things, she's, she's making a, a significant amount. Of that. So I do think she has the 8000 But whatever. Who cares? My husband... Two weeks ago, cashed out my investment. See? Is that really a good thing? Uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem good. It seems... It depends. Cash out of your investments on YouTube, especially for things that you fucked up. It depends. It depends on the stipulation. I don't know what her finances is like 100%, but it could be good or bad. People sell stuff over. I like you a lot more. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, Mallory, have a good time. And Mallory, pay up. I'm going to be back when all these channels have stomped on you. Thank you, Molly. Okay. All right. Um, as you can see, Molly's mind is not in the right place. Right? I'm not trying to diagnose or anything, but this, this woman is, she's just tripping. And what's all in a bad situation? <laughs> so you can, I'll tap it back here and you can tell me if you want no part of it, okay? Right, what's, uh, what's your album, man? What's what you get? <laughs> Take my community post. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mass flagging campaign. Thug life. They cre- that's, there's nothing thugged out about yeah, that. Like, uh, like- they created a mass flag campaign, which, mind you, is against YouTube Terms of Service as well. So if someone actually saw this clip and wanted to report it, they possibly could from the original channel that it was done on. People like this is a slippery slope you're, you're, you're playing with, right? I'm not asking for anyone to report anybody. I'm just saying, like, bam, like it's just it's weird, man. Um, I even if I don't like the person, I disagree with them. I still handle things a certain way because I have my code, right? That I don't expect everyone else to abide by. But I'm anti cancel culture, and I'm not going to do a mass flag campaign. People have done mass flag campaigns on me because I said something that made them mad, not because I actually broke terms of service. Just because I hurt their feelings. I'm never going to be okay with someone doing this. Same way I'm not okay with doxing. I've been doxed. Don't feel nice. Um, I, if you dox, you get pretty nasty to me. Molly's doxing people. Molly's pretty nasty to me. I still want to interview her about this situation as soon as possible, though. To hear her take fully. Because I think that both sides are pretty biased. So I would like to hear both sides. You know what I mean? Three months ago, I remember you saying the same thing. Oh my god, Nick! Oh and I just man. go by one side. But Molly is nasty, though. Let's be clear. Molly's disgusting. Nice for that. Nine words of uh, Spanish. Okay. Almost okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's Molly being glasses. Okay, hold on. I think I'm missing oh, it. They're really 
happy about reporting people. This is pretty scary, actually. Oh, okay. Hold on. Especially with that loser that's in the middle on the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. That loser has made up so much things about like this is that's what I'm telling you. That look whoever that is, can't remember the name. I think they they've made up so much stuff about me, fam. That they could have probably tried to start a campaign to get me out of here, and none of it was true. All because they, I think, they 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 over there kissing butt of this loser that I don't even mention on my channel that's been like really like obsessed with me for a while. Just is what it is. But to see, like, I now I gotta look at this different. Cause I know someone on this panel is a filthy liar that's with cancel culture. So yeah, this is this is too much for me. And I don't like Molly Golaly, bro. I'm like, I do think that she's honest to some degree. To some degree. If you blame the ask, are you doing this? Are you scamming? Are you taking money? You do it. She'll say yes. Right? Like, she'll be like, oh yeah, it's all for money. Yep, trying to get the views. That's the game we're playing. If you don't believe me, check the interview I did with her like two years ago. Okay. I think it was two years ago. Okay. I got you. Now what? what what's up? What, what you want us to do, baby? What you need us to do? I need it retweeted as many times. Copy and pasted. Nasty. Yeah, have, wait, hold up. This is I nasty. I'm on a mobile, so I can't leave. Or can't keep. Okay. Uh, um, but I take it. That so I can retweet it. So I can click the link. That's nasty. Me, yeah, copy and paste we shall do God's work. <laughs> I, will, I can send you a um, This is filthy. This this is really filthy. Wow. Um, Yo, and I don't know, like, these creators. There's this one person I'm familiar with because I just, I remember them for being disgusting and lying, but I don't know their actual name. Um, man, this is, from what I'm looking at, there's, there's no, like, actual honor, right? Um, and mind you, this is not me defending nasty Molly Go Lightly. I'm just saying that this is, is bringing you to her level when you, you engage like this. You got your fans laughing about it, too. Um. I can't see us do that for you. Once again, I don't know these people. Um, I'm only aware of like one. But if I maybe I'm if I'm missing some information and anyone wants to tell me more, um, you can put that information in the comment section or join Discord. You know what I mean? Shoot, I might even open a, a call. All right, let let people come in and, and actually speak their piece. <laughs> if I did that on uh, via live stream, people would be terrified. They don't want that smoke. Not here. Well, uh, you can um, because, uh, you know, oh, we gotta, I'm going to show you my tweet. Um, Jen, I've got somebody that has um, Twitter, uh, Team YouTube in the DMs. If you put it in back chat, I'll wow. give it to you. And they can go slip it right into uh, Team YouTube. You want I, me to just This say is crazy. What? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yo, fam. fam. Let's be clear. They're not trying to get the person, get Molly Golightly punished for what she said. Right. That's why I have maybe a, a bigger issue with this, because Molly O'Leary is currently being punished for the things she said. You want to say, oh, she was bullying. She docks on. I, I disagree with docks. And I, I hate it. I think she's disgusting. But guess what? She got a strike for that, which is more than the person who docks me got. Right. So she got punished for it. Now you're, you're seeking permanent punishments. Further, I can't get down with that. That just means you have like a lot of hate and disdain in your heart. Yeah, not loud or what? I don't care about it enough okay, to well, do that. Basically, um, Molly's ban evading, um, and See? she knows she's ban evading, and she knows the post in that video that she just posted is ban evading, and that's why it was gone as fast as it was. Mm. So, uh, check. So this is someone who literally studied the heck out of terms of service just for the sole purpose of trying to find ways to remove people that they don't like, right? <laughs> Yo, fam, they've been, Molly was punished for what she said. Now you're going further to try to see whatever else you can get to report her and get her removed. That's like if someone started an altercation with you or whatever in the police car and they give you, I don't know, order protection. All right, cool. Now, if you keep going to the house and looking through the window and you're like searching through the trash, trying to find something else dirty to get them reported and say, see, see, I told you, look, look, now lock them up for life. That's filthy. And now you become just as bad as them. Checkmate, little bitch. And um, <laughs> that's too much. I think that's too so, much. I'm not with the cancer culture. If you're listening, go to my Twitter and retweet, copy and paste it. 
and we'll put it in the chat. You can reach. We'll we'll share yours, or if Gills has got one, we'll share hers. We'll share both of them. You know what I mean? That's crazy. They collectively as a whole group. So it's not just the creators. It's not just the creators. It's the supporters as well. Ooh, this is scary. This is guys. I want to be clear. If, if you're subscribing to me and you're supporting me. I, I'm not with cancel culture. I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm ever going to lead a campaign to go mass flag or report someone, all right? That's, that's not my style. I, just, I hope that's okay with you and maybe you could just find the entertainment and value in what, I, what I'm doing. Community post and share that too. I'll share, I'll share it under my community post. I can put I'm it, not I doing can copy and paste it in the, I think. Let They're excited. I, I, oh, like I can copy and paste it. Into the, um, and she sings share as she does this. Maybe not. Who is that? Well, I, uh, I shared it on my community tab. So I shared your your tab onto mine. So I got that one there. And then we'll go to Twitter here. What's your Twitter? What's your what's your Twitter? It is let me see, you know what I mean? Another name. Um it's at Jen Jen Jenny G. It's okay. backwards, you know, from YouTube. Here I'll type it. What? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is good I think now. <clears throat> that's it. It's at that. I got you. I, I found it. This is horrible. And it's, you need to copy and paste it and tweet it yourself, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is legitimately horrible. This ain't the first time I've seen something like this. I've seen this, right? Uh, for smaller channels, too. This is, it's always nasty to me. It's always going to be nasty. To me. That's why I want to express parts of myself and let it be clear to my supporters. I'm not down with this kind of stuff, even though I think Molly's disgusting. I think Molly's nasty. I'm not defending Molly. I'm defending being anti cancel culture, right? This is this is this is too much. This is too much. Like if you think someone is loaded and they on the floor and they muddy and they in the dirt, don't get down there and roll with them. Especially if they already getting punished for being in the dirt. Come on, that's crazy. Has it, it did Maybe anybody I'm bugging. to get the URL for that? Because absolutely, wow. Yeah. Oh my We're gosh. I'm gonna send. I'm going to put it back here for you. Awesome. Copy and paste well, the Molly might be done. Uh, what was Molly might be done. This, this is a rule that the YouTube don't play with. YouTube, YouTube ain't playing with that. I've, I've had people I, I would consider to be really cool with lose their channels permanently. And they still fight into this day to try to get it back. Like YouTube is not playing with that ban of age. And, and you ban of age, you, you're done. Yeah, you're, you're done. They they want you out of here. Here, but now, yeah, because I'll get that right over to. We had uh, another incident, on, or you know, in the other hood down the street and around the corner, and yeah. one of the guys. Oh, this was recently. Team YouTube and has a DM going with them. So, and it's about something a similar situation, just different players. This is crazy. So they they already have people within their team, quote unquote, that literally uh, are speaking to Team YouTube to try to get someone else terminated. So they they gonna just squeeze Molly up in there so they could get a two for one bonus deal. Yo, 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 wonder why I don't want to talk to nobody, bro. I don't want to talk to n yo, fam. This is disgusting. That that's nasty. Oh my gosh! Like, yes, I do know. Like, and I, I have to keep repeating this because there's gonna be people in the comments. You're defending Molly, but you don't know what she did. Molly's nasty. Molly was wrong. I disagree with everything she did, and she's being punished for it right now. The only other punishment she could get, or I guess the thing that happened, is me roasting her. Right? But now this permanent ban. Oh, man. That's crazy. There's, they going out there way to permanent ban someone. It ain't like it just, it just happened. They are. Look look at these people. So, right, just, right over to her to throw it into that. Yeah, I don't want to talk to nobody on this panel. Message. Not a single one. Not a problem. They, they could keep their distance from me. I I'm just cool. wanted to make sure because, you know, you never know. If anyone wants to inform me of something that you think that I'm not aware of, you can send it to me via email if you can. But I don't want to have any conversation with anyone on this panel. This is just like I'm telling you, I live by this rule of if when you associate with nasty, you going to either you either you nasty or you're going to end up in nasty situations. I, this is the type of people that you become friends with. And then if you ever hurt their feelings or tell them no one time they're going to do the same thing that they're doing now and try to get you destroyed and removed because their feelings are hurt. They did it with ease. They, they doing it with ease. Why would they not just do it? Like, huh, well, we're already trying to get somebody else terminated. If, if you want to, we can slide Molly's name in there and then we can talk to Team YouTube about both parties if you like. 
I don't want to be around anyone like that. That's for for you two. They already got in trouble for what they did, but you you want them gone permanently because you you don't like them. No, and I don't want to put people in a bad position that they don't aren't cool with. You know what I mean? That's why. Oh I'm yeah, sure. I'm good. I'm good with it. But I appreciate you coming up here, and you know what I mean. Asking me first, you know what I mean. I appreciate that. Yeah, because but you know I'm down. Shit. Yeah, down for the cause, baby. Down for the cause. Absolutely. Is that the person? Is like a big Is that Mel? I knew she'd screw up. She's over there. <laughs> I knew oh, she'd screw up. <laughs> oh, she is, girl. I knew when she dropped that. Yeah, Mo- Molly's. I said this in like I think in my previous video. Molly, you gotta relax. I'm like yo, you you gotta relax. Like, fam, this this is. I'm telling you, every time I've gotten a suspension, I relax. I'll go to a whole nother platform and just rock on it. I don't care if there's no one in the chat. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> just, just talk my ish on another platform while I'm suspended. And then come back and then keep it going, man. And keep it more clean so I don't get in trouble. That's what I do when I get suspended. But um, Molly is like, I'm going to find a way to talk crap like on the platform. Molly, go talk crap on Patreon. Go talk crap on Twitch. Your fans will go there to watch it. Like, they will go there to check it out to see what you got to say. Yo, haters will go there to check it out. It wasn't necessary to come back on YouTube and do a video. It was not necessary to go on YouTube and do a live stream. It wasn't. Like, come on. Two weeks is going or one week, however long. I think it was two weeks. But however long you were suspended, that's going like that's worth you losing your channel. Just chill out. Relax. Take your mind off it. That's 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 what happens when you in that world of drama. You like become obsessed with it. You like, I gotta let the so many people are talking. I have to let them know what I have to do. Or you could just not give them content and just shut up. And go make your husband a sandwich. Wash your hands first, but go make your husband a sandwich. Go, go watch a movie. Do the things you like to do. Fucking video. Yeah. Like, she's done. Yeah. Jeez. I was fucking... just like. <laughs> Girl, I knew she couldn't stay off here. It was only a matter of fucking time. See? You see how they talk? Okay, I'm just going to say it. Y'all, everybody knows my stance. I'm taking this. Wow. But that, that's on y'all. Yeah, yeah. This is a war y'all been brewing for years before I got here, and I'll just say this: I don't want my channel getting hit. So normally I would say something at the same time. I could say MGO kind of dug a grave for herself, did this on yourself. You made some bad decisions. You made ninety eight percent of this community hate. Shut up! All right, now mm, yo, because so you are with cancel culture. If people enough people don't like you, that's the dumbest thing I heard in my life, man. Right when I was about to go, okay, we got someone using their brain. Where you don't want it happening to you. You're not with it. You're not with people who take getting channels taken down. But right now in this moment, because I guess you're cornered by your friends, you're going to just throw all your morals and all your code that you personally have out the window and say, it shouldn't have made people dislike you. So me, as someone who's polarizing, who tells the truth a lot, a lot of people don't like me. Maybe as well as because I'm, I'm an asshole. Yeah, I admit that. Um, but because people don't like me and it's me, it could be a large group. I deserve to lose my channel. I shouldn't have made people not like me. What the hell is wrong with people? This whole panel was disgusting. And I don't know anybody. So it is what it is. She is not a heel that I'm willing to die on. Uh, yeah. I don't care really what happens. I, mean, I don't have the history here that y'all do. But I will say this. The answer to some questions. You're being is different, but wrong is wrong. Because banny baiting is just that. Banny baiting is you have been banned. He's not that's that, right. Strike. So there's like another catch to this. I'm going to prove a point. If you don't believe this, the king dog dick of fuck YouTube is is Alex Jones, and Alex Jones is still all over YouTube. Why? Oh my gosh! This these people don't even know basic YouTube cop and and TOS. I right, listen. I right, right, fan 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 fan. Ban invading is a term that specifically means on YouTube that you have been suspended for whatever reason, and you're getting around it. By going to another channel of yours, right, and conducting your business there. That's what ban evading is. Because it has the word ban in it, doesn't mean that it's only when you've been banned, right? Because remember, those suspensions also are technically temporary bans, where you are banned from doing things for whatever time period. So if you're ban evading, that's like if you are suspended from work and you put a funny mustache on and try to go into your job. You're like, yo, 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 yo. 
you you evading the punishment we gave you? And then they'll permanently fire you. That's what's happening. This person using semantics, they don't have no full understanding of, of the terms of service. Also, it's against terms of service to mass flag. So you're taking part in, in that as well by engaging in this. But just so everyone knows, ban evading is when you're suspended and you continue to do whatever you're doing. Um, Sneeko got hit like this. There's a few channels. There's a few channels. I think even um, Keemstar got hit like that a few times. But then he found a loophole to keep whatever he got going on now going. But there's a few people that get banned permanently because they got banned or temporarily and decided, let me just go on another YouTube channel and do whatever. No, 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 no. But if you get demonetized, you can be monetized on a different channel. If it was already monetized before, that's a tricky one. If you start a new channel and try to re-monetize it after you've been demonetized, you will get suspended. Not suspended, my bad, correction. You would be banned permanently. But if you already had a YouTube, you know, I'm not going to give people free game. I'm over here giving people free game. You know what? I'm going to have to charge people for advice. Because Tim Pool did a piece about this. About six There's a reason why I got like thousands of strikes and still here. <laughs> And said, before anybody tries to flag my shit, let me show you something. And he brought up a thing from YouTube that said, even though you've been banned, if you follow these guidelines and swear on a stack of whatever, that you can contain this guest within our parameters on a live stream, you can host them. They can. So it's Alex Jones is all over. It's actually just against TOS. What does That's that have to do is. with Alex I mean, they Jones? They probably strike her again for something, but it's going to be very much a threat. Especially well, that is that, Willow, this one isn't called that. Is no, dude, if, if they really go, I shouldn't be telling people this. The, what they're doing can lead to her getting permanently terminated, without a doubt. Yeah, but like, but whatever. Invasion. This is called ban circumvention. When you go around a ban that's been put in place on you as a penalty, you're not allowed to go on or stream from anybody no, else. You're in, time out. you're in timeout. You're supposed to stay. Correct. That's right. Just because people can you have you as a guest, though, doesn't make it okay or right. People can have you as a guest. Let me lower the quality. I think it's, it's making. Clicks and pops. I don't know if that's their side, but I'm hearing clicks and pops. But yeah, um, as long as it's like, if it's a channel that you created, you can't do it. If it's someone else's channel and they have you as a guest, yeah, you could be on other people's show as a guest, without a doubt. Right. You're supposed to sit in punishment and think about what you did and go over the list of offenses that YouTube has given you and think about if this is really the right place for you. Trust me. I, mean, I, I, look, I, I, I agree, but I'm just saying this is going to come down completely on you. There is no magic wand that have this will come down to somebody at YouTube sees it they don't like her he's fucked no one sees and it. it's babe it's gonna come down to a bunch of people mass flagging and reporting that's what it's gonna come down to what is this person talking about I don't know what any of these people are talking about they don't none of them really know the terms of service except for the ones that are blatantly trying to use it to take someone down somebody gets it and goes eh. oh well they just well, it out I, I understand I wouldn't get my hopes up over it well I, I agree I'll with you that. Heels. It has nothing to do stuff with and all that crap. I agree with you, but also, he didn't just like come up and post a video. He just told people they're about to cure her mama with a wormer. That's dangerous as fuck. <laughs> and she put it on members only. I mean, that is seriously dangerous. You hear this? You hear them? Like, yo, I'm telling you, this per yo, per I don't trust nothing they say. Also, I know that this is the type of person that will watch you 24 7 and try to get a clip. And so she was on it. She was on it, on it. Right? And she definitely probably reported it immediately. Yeah, Thank you. Thing. But otherwise, <laughs> I think agree with you. I think everybody, like, it, it, it's... Yeah, I will say she probably ought not be doing that kind of shit while you're walking that tightrope. Joe Rogan had a whole couple of handful of doctors on there talking about ivermectin, and they, YouTube ain't touching that dude. People take his... All right, this person is someone that's just, like, a fan of... I could, I could tell what they are. They, they are a fan of certain, a certain type of culture. They're misguided, though, right, uh, with certain things. But it, it would take probably one conversation with me and then maybe they'd be like, okay, now I fully get it. But I see what they're doing. They're a fan of like Joe Rogan's and they are aware of the Alex Joneses and the Tim Pools. So they, they probably out of everyone on the panel, that's probably the person I would give a chance to speak to even I don't know who this is. Just because I can tell the realm that they're in, they'd probably be more willing to hear the truth, right? So it's just the, the company that they're keeping that has them in on this type of time. This 10-foot wallet is for motherfucker. But, um, this is cancer culture fully, bro. Michael I don't know how you could so, be on no, the type of time you on 
unless you're anti all the people that you're naming, then okay, it makes sense. But if you're fans of like Joe Rogan and, and Tim Pool and all these people that you're naming, I don't know how you could be sitting here in a cancel culture like session and be sitting. That that's crazy. That was kind of my other point to say is I can point to some times where this has not went down like this at all. But it was Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. So take that with a grain of salt. Not Molly Go Lightly, who's been scrounging for a silver play button for half a decade. So you know, yeah, hey, she may be fucked. <laughs> Do you have one? Damn, why well, wouldn't people say that? Right? I'm not trying to defend Molly, but you got a silver play button. Who on this people on this panel got a silver play button? Well, shoot, congratulations. That was dope. Yikes, man. You killing it. You killing it. You a superstar. I think it's an actual band invasion. Band. It's just against Look, the Let me say again, I don't care. I think she asked for this shit herself 100%. She it's did everything she could. French. You know, she's... The she's difference, a there's a difference between being indifferent and trying to take someone down and destroy, right? You are surrounded by a bunch of people that's trying to take someone down and destroy. Uh, in the fire. Yeah. Yes. Right, so, it, um, it's exactly what you're saying. This ain't no war. It is, it is war? circumvention. Trust me, I thought this with Natasha. Every time she would get a channel taken down or we would strike her and she would just go to... You hear this? This is scary. Hey, listen. I want to be clear, y'all. I want to be clear as day when I say this. Everyone on this panel, you listen. You listen. You better listen. Let's listen close. I don't want no smoke with you. All right, listen. I'm a civilian. I want no problem. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm polarizing. I know you don't like me. I'm an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing nothing against time to say. Leave me, leave me alone, man. These type of people will stalk you. Leave, leave me alone, son. I just, I just want to let you know. Be clear. Don't be sitting there typing, especially these weird. Don't be sitting there typing. Oh, yeah. We're going to try to come up with more lies about him and try to get him. Leave me the hell alone, bro. <laughs> You're crazy. I don't want no smoke. I'm a civilian. My hands are in the air. This ain't no drama. This ain't no beef. This is just me giving commentary and giving my opinion on what I think is wrong, what I think is foul. Leave me alone. You know, it's like, oh, this is when we were striking Natasha and getting her channel removed. Oh my gosh. Oh man, she's permanently banned right now, too, ain't she? She don't got a channel, right? I think she's. Still trying to ban evade, and they, they keep striking her and reporting her. I don't want no smoke, man. I just want to come on here and kick it with my fans. Come on here and chill and, and be honest. Can I just be honest? Am I allowed to be honest without the cancel cultures or vultures coming after me? All right, now that we got past the jokes, kiss my black ass. If any, anybody was a team cancel culture and you down with that, you kiss my black ass. Now we got the jokes out the way. You kiss my black ass. She would bounce off of Cooper. Losers. Cooper to huh? with Cooper. And it just, like, she just bounced back and forth if she was struck on one. or she. So you were striking her back and forth over and over from page to page. This is crazy, bro. Do you know how the amount of time it takes for someone to be doing that? That's dedication. They clocking you from channel to channel. And people be like, yo, Beast Boy, why you got like 17 channels? Well, there are people that got too much time on their hands in this world. And they gonna use that time to obsess over destroying you, right? Now, this is not me defending Natasha Cooper. I've definitely dragged her to filth before. And this is not me defending Molly Go Like, said, I gotta say that a thousand times in the video. But I just, I think Ron is wrong, bro. Like, there's, it's possible that both sides can be horribly wrong. You go on her third one. So, I mean, it's in this, what it's called is circumvention. I was going to do it. I was going, but then I sat my two weeks out. I sat it. When I got struck, I got struck and I got struck twice. I got two strikes. That will See, and this is what happens when you play in the mud. You getting strikes too? Come on, man. It was three, but they all three strikes rolled into one. And it was my second strike. Right? Took me off the air for two weeks. And I think right. I know the hateful hag that did that to you, actually. I can't. Hateful hag. So the people that are striking you are hateful hags, but then you striking people back to back constantly, so much so that you know the rules, like the back of your hand. <laughs> you, you not hateful or hag in your words? That's, yo, come on, man. It's hypocrisy. I'm not going to do to other people what I don't want done to me. I'm not one of those people, right? Like, I've seen people get doxxed, and the first thing they do is dox the person that doxxed them, right? 
like the one of the people that docks me on YouTube, I have his information because that's what happens when, with the copyrights, which is how he got mine, right? Um, and I was able to they, get his information because YouTube sends it to you, right? That's something that they should work on, right? Um, but whatever, you in the game, it is what it is at this point. All right, just got to protect yourself. Uh, that's the only thing you can do, right? Literally protect you, your household, your family. Um, but I was doxxed and I didn't choose to dox him in return. And mind you, I've seen a plethora of channels do that, that very thing. Uh, because they were docs now, they're going to go and show your house and take pictures of your front door and, and do a whole stream about it. I'm, I'm not in that, that type of bag. I went, if I think something's wrong, I'm not going to do it myself. Because then th that would mean that I'm just at the same level as them. I'm just as, as disgusting as them. I'm just as nasty. You stay in hurry. That's what that shows me. I, I don't know who it was. So, I mean. Oh, okay. I thought it was that Vivian chick that's wants to do the others. Oh, no, as it wasn't Vivian. Okay. <laughs> I canceled her. I canceled her. I canceled her. So she's a band of as well. I canceled her. Oh. <sighs> wow. Um, super nasty. Filthy. Definitely disagree with it. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not a fan of Molly. I'm not side of Molly. I think Molly's wrong times a billion, right? I'm not defending her. But when I was sent this clip, I got sick to my stomach, bro. Like, when I say up anti-cancel culture, I mean it. I, I mean it. Super. I don't want to just stop. Uh... Super is going to be everything, but no tomato. Some people don't know. <laughs> Some people might not know. Some people might not know. I don't want to just. And then the breakdown starter. Why, if you really feel in this way, why go live? Like, let's be clear, fam. I'm not trying to attack her or attack her at all, but let alone that. I'm not trying to, like, give her too much criticism for grieving. Right, I do believe that that's that's part of the you know part of the game. We lose people, man. Sometimes you have to grieve. I'm not gonna tell somebody how to grieve necessarily, or even tell them how to feel about it. Or that that's something that I think we all go through, and it is painful. But to exploit it, I don't know if that's necessarily grieving now at this point. Right, I I don't know if it if it falls under grieving when you you're doing you you know, you know Molly knows what she's doing she knows the amount of empathy and sympathy points she's about to get like it's it's crazy but yet she she keeps it going she keeps it going let's let's keep on taking a look who took the dawn dawn <laughs> Did you take the sheets off mom's bed? Daddy. Did you take the sheets yeah. off dad's bed? Why? Daddy. My fucking head is pounding. Um, my head's pounding too. I feel something and about it right now. Why is her head pounding? Yeah. From crying. I just yeah. ate a donut. Dad was like, do you want to have a sandwich or a whole And now it's about to start. Like, we went from sandwiches to this. And mind you, but once again, I know what she's going through. I know it's, but if, if this is the type of time you're on, then you should probably not be live streaming, right? And maybe you should, you know, be with your family and deal with your grief, right? That's just my personal opinion. And once again, if anyone has a problem with me speaking on this, did you have a problem when she was going to people's front lawns and harassing them when their kids went missing or even worse? Right, like no one, no one cared about that. Right, and it's not me saying I'm being petty or trying to get back at her, get revenge. None of that. Nah, no, absolutely not. Right, I have no um hate or disdain for Molly Golightly. In fact, out of the Krama community, she was the one that I did give some respect out of the Krama community. You know, people that say that they do true crime, but it's really drama content, fake reality TV, and mixed with true crime. Remember when I said that? And then Molly Golally tried to do a, a reality TV show years later about true crime. Anyway, I digress. 
I digress, man. I'm just not buying what she's selling. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I do have, you know, some type of empathy as far as, you know, having condolences for her. And just, yeah, I just have empathy. And I do wish her condolences, but I, I think this is too much. I think this is way too much. Thank you, Faith. So I could uh, eat myself into a coma. Uh, we are ordering sandwiches I right now. I don't want to wake up. I'm know. afraid to fall asleep too. Hey, what? You're afraid to fall asleep because they wake up and she won't be here? Um, okay. I get you. I get losing a loved one is hard. I'm, don't, don't take this wrong, right? I'm, I'm not trying to bash her for feeling grief. I just, I'm giving her criticism for making this so public that it was not necessary. It was completely unnecessary. She's looking directly into the camera as she cries. Yo, come on. Stop playing with me, man. Stop. Y'all, y'all playing with me now. She's looking into the camera directly as she cries. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, that's crazy. That's straight, that's straight crazy. But it is what it is, bro. No. It's the worst day. I don't know how to navigate right now. I'm like, just, I don't know. Okay. Thought going through my head. Take a look at the title, too, by the way, guys. This is, yo, fam, you can't take this serious. Bad days for Trump. And me too. <laughs> Why would you? Yo, my, what, yo, come on, man. This, this is Andy Kaufman level jokes going on right now. Bad day for Trump. And you, why, why, what, what, what this had, what this had to do with Trump? I'm not understanding that at all. What? What exactly did this have to do in any way, shape, or form? Like, okay, mom. All right, Molly. Hi. Okay. Hi. What? Why? Really, what is the really purpose of this? this? Really, really want to uh, Justin, thank you so much. Oh, there you go. I'm trying to push. There you go. That was, now you're seeing it. <laughs> As it is for. That's what it's for right there. Right there. Right in front of your face. There you go. Right right there. That's, that's what she was looking for. Through, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay awake. <sighs> 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 What the <laughs> hell? What is it? Like, why? Why are you even filming this? Why are you live streaming right now? Why are you not just grieving with your, your loved ones, right? If you want to live stream or whatever, cool, cool. That, that could be a way of grieving as far as like working, like putting in work. But this is, this is next level. This is next level, fam. I'm just, I'm not rocking with it. I just want, I want everybody to come around. He has no idea. Um, be around. He has no idea. Be stimulated by all the things. Right. You know what he means? I had no idea I was going to break down his ears. You had no idea that you was. So cut the stream. She would never do that, though, because she's making that moolah. Making that money, right? Bling, bling. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all, right? That's what she's doing. I don't want to show the whole stream. If you want to see it in full, go to her second channel, Live with Molly, Go Lightly, uh, to see the full stream. But yeah, I think this is, this is pretty nasty. 
pretty nasty exploiting your mom passing away just to get clicks and views. Huh? Real, real nasty. I keep telling people when everyone was going crazy, all in my, my DMs, my emails, and in my comment section, you, you can't do videos on Molly. She's going through something right now. And I gave a clear, clear example of how that made no sense due to the fact that she covers true crime, due to the fact that she goes to people's front lawns and harass them, due to the fact that she'll go to your job and harass you, all just to get some clout. All for clout, all for views, right? But forbid anyone want to give their opinion on her. She's making all her background and all these other things extremely public, right? She's making the, the loss of her mother extremely public, right? That's not on me. That's not on nobody. So if you're a content creator and you're like afraid to do content on Molly because you believe that there's a chance that people will try to go after you or try to give you criticism because so, I, I think that you shouldn't worry about that. I think that you should cover whatever content you feel you would like to talk about. You know what I mean? Don't let Molly and her fans try to like, I guess, persuade you that you're doing something wrong when you're not. Yeah, you're absolutely not. Right? It's, it's just like a manipulation tactic, actually. I, I don't like it. It's a huge manipulation tactic that I don't respect. It's weak. Super weak. I think it's corny. I think it's some loser-ish to, to do. Like, oh, I'm just going to you know, we pretend to be the victim and, and you can't talk about that stuff. It's emotional manipulation. Some no, emotional. Oh, I'm over here stuttering about words, my, my heart self. It's emotional manipulation, right? Say it with me, guys. I got a video where it's like kind of documentary format, breaking down what emotional manipulation is. Check that out. But yeah, it's, it's these tragedy pimps coming on here and doing the worst and expecting to be treated the best, right? Is Molly, right, and her fans saying that she's better than everyone? Now, I do understand there's people that watch me. There's a lot of people that watch me and watch Molly or watch me and watch uh, that, what's the other bozo name, like Perplex and all these other things. A bunch of people that I destroyed in debates. Um, I'm in the process of uploading every debate that I did with one of these tragedy pimps. Right, I'm in the process of in the next few days. It should be up there. So check out my debate playlist. You could get access to that on my homepage. Um, you get to see me debate Molly Go Lightly and make her run away, debate Life Perplex and make her cry, all types of stuff. Right. I know that you guys watch the both of us. It's just, that's fine. I don't care. I can't tell you what to watch, but I got to call a spade a spade. I got to keep it real. I got to be honest. Right. These tragedy pimps are nasty, disgusting. Now, what did Molly do now? As she says, she's going through all these things. Oh, oh. I'm losing people in the yes, I do understand that. I'm not making fun of her for that. What I'm roasting is the fact that she's still out here with the drama. She's still out here going on people's channels and leaving comments, being shady, and she's actively seeking the drama. Like, fam, you're, you're doing this to yourself, Molly. So anyone who is a fan of Molly, and you might be a fan of me as well, that's okay. But you're not going to hear me complain about someone talking to me. I'll complain about, you know, I would not even complain, but I'll speak out about someone blatantly lying. Oh, yeah. All day. All day. I, I would let it be known. Hey, fam, that, that's foul. This isn't true. Yada, yada, yada. Um, unless it becomes like redundant. Other than that, yeah, like, I'll definitely address that. But what Molly is doing is, is going beyond, bro. If you're in pain, right? You're struggling right now. You're going through, this, through something like your, your whole family is. Not just you, but your selfish self. Your entire family is going through something. Why do the internet games, right? Now, I'm not saying that she can't create content. I'll never tell someone that, let alone what to do at all. But me, as someone who has lost someone, right? Has lost a bunch of people within my YouTube career. I've never came on and, and made that public information 
let alone try to beef while I was grieving. I might have continued my work, which is me just focusing on content for sure. For sure, without a doubt. Absolutely. Right? That's how I get down. But all that extras, nah. Nah. Absolutely not. That, that's not my swag. That's not my swag at all. Right? But maybe I'm different. I do understand that people grieve differently. But Molly go lightly going out here and trying to start drama and start beef and just get a bunch of eyes on her. She just demands attention at all times. You can't not be looking at her. I think this is disgusting. I've seen Molly stream more now that her mom has passed within the last few days than I've seen her stream ever, right? You could be saying that's a distraction. That's definitely possible. And I'm not even going against that, right? It's the subject matter. It's the subject matter, man. I feel like she's she's doing the regular tragedy pimp thing and now she's pimping her tragedy, right? Molly said a few weeks ago that her mom was gone before her mom was actually gone. Molly said that she was gone in her head. She wasn't even a thought. She already moved past it. Right? This is Molly saying this. Now, either Molly was bugging out when she was saying all of that and she would never admit to being wrong or she's cold blooded and she's pretending right now. Either way, it seems nasty. You know what I mean? Either way, it just seems so nasty. I just, I can't rock with it, man. I can't rock with it. It just feels phony to me. Right? It seems, yeah, it's disgusting. I, I can't. I just think that this is foul. I think that Molly Golightly using her mom in that way is insane. I also think Molly going out here and clapping back and starting drama and doxing people. And Losing your mother is not an excuse, fam. You're a grown woman. You're an adult. That's how adults act. That's how adults act. Is that what you do? Come on, man. It's crazy. Like, it's, it's legitimately crazy, bro. I don't know, man. I just, eh. If I took any of this serious, I, I probably would be pissed. But the fact that I, I don't take Molly serious, I never took Molly serious. Molly just says the craziest things on purpose just to get shock value. One of these days, man. Well, you already seen it. It's biting her in the butt. I'm not vouching for any of these people that's going on mass flag campaigns. I think they're disgusting. I did a video calling everyone who was included in the last mass flag campaign with Michael Lightly. I, I did a video calling them out because I felt like that was foul. Like that's that's some sick stuff, man. Like why why like, why even do that? Why even do that, man? But that's not me defending Molly per se. That's me defending just not being nasty. Now, I tried to warn Molly. Molly didn't care. Molly do what she want to do. Molly don't want to listen to nobody. She wanted to come out here and do whatever. And now she gone. She terminated. Fam, um, a lot of people was contacting me about this. I had a whole lot of stuff I was dealing with on my own. So I couldn't really, you know, go in and, and talk about it. So I was like, let me just save it for this video. Let me just save it for the video and see if people actually can see all these signs and all these warnings that I gave. And I'm not trying to say like I'm the end of be all and everyone has to listen to me. But uh, I, I really did try to warn Molly, man. I really did try to warn Molly. It just didn't seem like she was interested in, in hearing the truth. But it is what it is, fam. Check out my other videos. Check out my previous videos on Molly. And check out my videos on just a bunch of other stuff that has nothing to do with Molly as well. Check out my other documentaries. And, and look into my true crime playlist if you can, fam. I talk about a lot of things that don't really get the shine or the attention that I think it deserves. So check that out if you have a chance. Uh, so extra time. If you want access to my live streams, follow me on Twitch. And follow me on Rumble. Oh, uh, yeah, that's where you get that exclusive, man. 
And if you want access to my face, videos where I show my face, go ahead and check out my Patreon, man. Show some love and support. It really helps me out. Keeps the channel going. Check out that merch too as well.